Guys, welcome back to the next episode, the next live stream on the channel. We're here. We're doing some shiny hunting. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you guys so much for coming out. As always, we got Lame Man Gamer up in the stream with those hype emotes. Yo, speaking of emotes, hold up. Hold up. We got new emotes. All right. I don't have them to actually show you guys yet, but we do have new emotes as well as new loyalty badges coming very, very, very soon. I literally just got the first sketches today from the artist, and it's absolutely incredible. So look out for that. But, anyways, we got Logan up in the stream. We got Watermelon up in the stream. Now, before we get started, I just want to point out that yes, something is different. Something is a little bit uh, off, you may say. And uh, it's the camera. Look at this. It looks nice. It looks nice. Let me know what you guys think. It's a little darker than usual. I'm still messing with the settings, but uh, it's super sharp, super clean. I'm absolutely loving it, and it's just I, I I love it, man. It's freaking beautiful. Hopefully you guys dig it. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Uh, why is the base game so dark? It literally just comes down to. I was like trying to mess around with the settings, trying to get the right balance of like having light, but also like not having a lot of grain. It's, it's a really hard balance to strike, and I think I got close. Obviously, I'm still going to be tweaking with it. Obviously, still going to be messing with it. But as of right now, this is what we're going to be rocking with. It's a very nice, clean 60 FPS. My older, my older camera didn't do that. All right, I had 60 FPS, but it was only at 1080. But the 1080 looked like garbage, so I used to use uh, 4K and then downscale it. But then it would be 30 FPS, so it wouldn't be as smooth. Look at how smooth I am. I look like a freaking banana, dude. We got Ikeda with. A Two dollars super chat. Thank you so much, my boy. He says, "How the hell are you, you bloody little spider?" Yo, I'm doing freaking amazing, man. Hopefully, you're doing well as well. Thank you for stopping by. Really, really do appreciate it. Get some like up in the chat for my boy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ryan over the stream says, "You're so high quality. We can see your pedo stash." <laughs> yeah, I know. Literally, the first time I saw myself with this camera, I was like, "Oof." <laughs> Oof, that, that didn't show up on my other camera. That did not show up on my other camera, so oh yeah, we'll just we'll just ignore that for now. I definitely have to shave. Uh, but yo, welcome to the stream. You guys are incredible. Thank you so much for stopping by. We're rocking out, having a great time. I have the horizontal face cam now because I was gonna do the vertical one like usual, but this camera is a lot more zoomed in, so it was hard to get like a good a good amount of like I don't know, like, space with the vertical one. It just felt like I was way too cramped, so that's why I rock it out with the horizontal one, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Ideally, I'd want to back the camera up a little bit more because I feel like it's... I don't know, I feel like it's too close to my face, but then again, there's a wall here, so there's not much not much area to work with, you know what I'm saying? As it's going facial hair, this is not a drill. Yeah, I just came out of the boom yesterday, and look at me. I'm already growing a mustache. You know, time flies when you're having fun. That's what they say in uh, the United States. I don't know why I specified the United States. I mean, they probably say it in a lot more places. But anyways, the fetus is finally growing up. Yeah, honestly, dude, this is like baby's first mustache right here. Baby's first mustache. Look at it. Look at it. Baby, 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 baby first mustache. You can see the intricacies of my big ass eyebrows. It's beautiful. Oh, oh, this is this is this is why I got a camera upgrade. I wanted you guys to just experience my my each individual hair of my eyebrow. That's that's why I got a better camera, just for that sole reason. Ashley grows every series. Next series, I'll have a full-length beard. Honestly, dude. Honestly, but uh, yeah, hopefully everything goes well. This is officially our first piece of content going up on the channel with the new camera. Really, really excited for it. And uh, if you guys are wondering, Astro, why did you get a new camera set up? Uh, well, the reason why is actually a reason I can't tell you guys yet. <laughs> There is a reason. There is a reason, and it's it's much more than just uh just oh I want better quality. It was uh it, it was it was a, it was an adventure. You guys will see it very 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 soon. I'm actually going to be working on a special video uh coming up here over the next week or so. So look out for that. Ashley went from fetus to the watch list in one camera change. 
<laughs> oh god. Oh god. You know, you can see every piece of acne. Oh. You know, you know, it's 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 a blessing. It's a blessing, but it's also a curse. It's a curse and a blessing. There's some good things, there's some bad things about it. I mean, you, you know, more detail comes with sacrifices, and you got to make those sacrifices to do what you want to do in life. That's how life works. It's a give and take, push and pull, tug of war. You already know how it is. He's making the PewDiePie transformation. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to become PewDiePie. By the end of the shiny hunting series, if the series ever ends, uh, I'm literally just going to be PewDiePie. Like, it's just going to be footage of PewDiePie's face cam, and I'm just going to be still talking like my normal self, but uh, PewDiePie will just be in my face cam slot. But uh, anyways, hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. Hopefully you guys are enjoying yourselves, and uh, hopefully you guys are having a great Friday. Um, I actually maybe possibly wasn't going to stream tonight uh, because we were going to record the new episode or the next uh, episode zero of the three-way, which by the way, look out for that. It's going to be absolutely incredible. Probably going to be dropping sometime next week. Uh, but unfortunately, we didn't get the chance to record it today because Dylan uh, wasn't really feeling all that. So uh, go ahead and, and send your condolences. Not condolences. I mean, nothing really big happened, but just uh, Dylan was having a bad day. I'm sure if you guys follow him on Twitter, you would know that. Uh, so we didn't get the chance to record three-way today, but actually, it actually wasn't like too bad because I ended up uh, spending a lot more time focusing on trying to get this camera set up. I didn't have to rush it, which was kind of nice. Your cam looks sexy. Yo, I'm glad you like it, man. I'm glad you like I kind of want to spend like as much time as possible in this full screen face cam just so you guys can get like the full effect. You know, there's just so much more detail in my face. There's so much more detail in the background too. And like the background is slightly blurred and I, I love it, man. It's just, ah, ah, it's, it's clean. It's clean. Like if you compare this to my uh, webcam, if you look at it closely, it's 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 a big difference. It's a big difference, man. Uh, the webcam was a little brighter, but I feel like the webcam was almost too bright. Like I used to crank the saturation up on that thing, and uh, looking at it now, it was a little bit too much. Like my teeth look looked yellow in the webcam, uh, or from the webcam's perspective. But anyways, we got Red Wing with the two dollars super chat. Thank you so much, my boy. He says, "Okay, no, I will not ignore smooth as a banana." <laughs> are you saying? Are you saying bananas aren't smooth? Is that, is that what you're saying to me? Is that what you're, are you saying bananas aren't smooth? I think you're lying to yourself if you, if you think that's, if you think bananas are choppy. Uh, I don't know what bananas you're eating, but uh, last time I checked, bananas are very smooth. Uh, anyways, we're doing, thank you so much for the support. <laughs> His hair looks different. Yeah, I mean, it's, you can see like individual hairs now, like that, that's something new. Uh, maybe the colors are a little bit different. I mean, the, I know the colors are different, but maybe that's why it looks off. Um, but yeah, just let me know what you guys think. I'd love to hear your feedback. Obviously, I'm still working with it, but I'm just excited because now I have like a main camera and then I'm also going to have like, I'm, st I'm still going to have my webcam. So what I can do is I can have, uh, like I'll put the webcam behind me and then I'll probably use that webcam for mixed reality stuff and I'll just keep it back there because by the way, that is still definitely happening. Look out for that. Um, I got mixed reality set up. And I haven't had the chance to really do much with it, but very, very soon here we're going to be doing some dedicated streams of that, so look out for that. In case you guys don't know what mixed reality is, basically mixed reality is where you impose yourself on a green screen and you're playing a VR game and it looks like you're in the game uh, while you're playing it. So ideally I want to be streaming that pretty soon. Um, and now that I have like a dedicated camera over here and then now I can move my webcam back there for uh, solely mixed reality, it'll be, it'll be good because it'll basically save me a ton of time with having to set it up. And uh, it'll just make things a lot, lot easier. Uh, hoot ball! Yo, get some hype up in the chat for hoot ball. Today, I, I have a good feeling. We have a new camera, new hype. I, I think we can get hoot ball today. I think we can. I mean, don't quote me on it. But I think we can. All right? I'm, I'm confident. I'm confident. Um, yeah, no, we've been going after hoot ball for so long, though. And I'm so glad that I came up with the name hoot ball. Like, it literally just came to me a couple of weeks ago. I was like, hey, let's just name this man hoot ball. Why not? It looks like a football, and he hoots. He's a hoot ball. So I'm excited. Maybe, maybe maybe that's why he doesn't want to come out. Maybe maybe he just doesn't like the name hoot ball. I mean, I love the name hoot ball. I don't know what he's doing. He must be, he must be struggling with something, or he, he must have just some... Uh, very interesting opinion. I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Basically, what I'm trying to say is why wouldn't you like the name Hootball? I want the name Hootball. Why not? Why not? Uh, I was casually trying to fix the music there. I feel like it was a little bit too quiet. Let me know how that is. I'm really just kind of experimenting with all this tonight, but thank you guys for coming out. Thank you guys for supporting. I really do appreciate it. We can get Hootball today. I have confidence, man. I believe we can. I believe that we can win. I believe that we can win. I believe it. I believe it. I'm excited. We had a pep rally today at school, and uh, that's where that came from. I believe that we can win. I believe that we can win. Yeah, that came from the pep rally. We Our pep rallies are interesting, to say the least, uh, which, by the way, I did post. Er, no, I didn't. I did not post anything on Snapchat about the pep rally, but I usually do. If you guys want to follow me on Snapchat, Astrid Mania. Um, 
but yeah, no, uh, we had a pep rally today. It was actually totally last minute. Like I, I did not expect to be at a pep rally. Literally, I was working out my work in my my criminal justice class. It was the end of the day, and uh, suddenly everybody just started getting up, and I was like, "What the fuck? I'm, I'm not even. I'm still working on this. Like, why, wh wh why are people getting up? I'm trying to work on my work." And um, yeah, they were getting up, and everybody was trying to leave, and it was like 30 minutes before school actually let out, and I still wasn't done. So I was sitting there trying to finish, and then I realized I was like, "Oh shoot, we totally have a pep rally today." Don't don't we? And then it just kind of gets thrown in my face. And I was like, oh, shoot. All right. Let's go to the pep rally. Yay. I don't know why I'm telling this story. It's kind of a dumb story. I didn't have school today. Yo, watermelon fries. You are a lucky boy. You are a lucky boy. I mean, I mean, education is fantastic. Please, please go, go do your, do, do, I condone education to go do your education. Don't, don't not do that. Um, but yeah, no, when it comes to today, especially, um, I literally, I, I was up late last night and, um, and I woke up this morning and I literally felt like death. I literally felt like death, like death with a cherry on top. That's how bad it was. That's how bad it was. I woke up and I was just like, wow, today is not my day. Today is not my day. My pro rallies are just absolute cringe. Yeah, that's, I mean, ours aren't the worst. Like I, I've seen worse. I'm not like, I'm not trying to bash our pep rallies. I mean, they're okay. They're all right. Um, then again, I'm not like the biggest school spirit guy. I'm not like the most invested in getting into like, oh yeah, go school, you know, I'm not that kind of guy. So, uh, it's not as exciting for me, but I think overall, like uh, speaking objectively, I think our pep rallies are okay. You know, uh, Red Wing asked to vote. Wait, what are we voting on? What are we voting on? Our banana smooth. <laughs> Yes, yes, vote down below. Our banana smooth. Yes, no, yes was not an expression. <laughs> and Ashley needs to work on his words. No, 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 no. I, I think, I think the answer is yes. I mean, I'm a little bit biased though, but I think it's yes. Yeah, four votes for yes or no. That's not four votes for yes. That's a no. And Ashley needs to work on his words. Man, you guys, are you guys trying to? Who's, whose team are you on? Whose side are you on? Oh my goodness. Um. But yeah, no, I think bananas are smooth. I mean, have you ever felt a banana? It's smooth. Like, I I don't know what kind of bananas you guys are eating. Uh, yo, Dolly Wop with a member. Yo, Dolly Wop, welcome to the member squad, my boy. Thank you so much, my guy. I'm pretty sure you're already on the member wall. I think so. Which, by the way, um, total side, are, are you on the member wall? Honestly, I don't know. Uh, speaking of the member wall, though, I think we're going to stop doing the member wall. <laughs> I know we've literally had it for like I don't know two weeks, like if if that. Um, but I I don't I don't know I don't know. It keeps falling apart, so I'm I'm hesitant to keep it up. And also the fact that I have to have a separate camera hooked up to it is kind of obnoxious. So I think I think what we'll do is we'll get rid of it once we get loyalty badges, because then you won't need a wall to tell you how long you've been a member like it'll it'll automatically update and you'll have like these cool loyalty badges by your name depending on how long you've been a member but anyways dolly wop thank you so much man get some hype emotes up in the chat you guys are incredible thank you so much dolly wop and if you guys want to become a member you guys get a bunch of awesome perks like access to our private discord server as well as emotes as well as loyalty badges and of course as i already said we got new emotes as well as new loyalty badges coming up very very soon we're gonna have a more like emotes look out for that we're gonna have uh specific hype emotes for new members new donate or not new donors but just donators in general and then twitch subs when we do um go ahead and gain access to twitch subs on twitch and then also in terms of the loyalty badges uh, my plan right now or what i told the artist is i want to get like a lapras egg for when you guys just become a member and then like a month in you'll get a baby lapras hatching out of the egg with like a little beanie on top and then like three months in or whatever you'll get a full grown lapras you'll get a big boy lapras right you get a big boy lapras and then that big boy lapras eventually transforms over time into a shiny lapras and then a rainbow lapras so it's about to be freaking nuts i'm super excited for it. these loyalty badges are about to about to look beautiful and i'm like I'm, I'm just excited man i'm just excited why do people call banana wrappers peels I'm going to pretend like I didn't read that. Uh, yo, XP Sparks with the $2 super chat. Thank you so much, my boy. He says, I just watched your video on how to edit. Holy. Yo, I, hopefully you liked it, man. Hopefully you, I keep looking here instead of like at the camera. Hopefully you liked it, man. Um, yeah, that video, that was a trip. That video, I put so much effort into that video. I think it was like an hour long or hour and a half long. Uh, it's a little bit outdated in case you guys are wondering like I, a lot of stuff has changed since then I've moved over to Adobe Premiere in terms of editing But a lot of the core stuff that we do 
stays the same. You know, like a lot of, and by we, I mean like our entire friend group. We all basically make videos the same way. Um, but yeah, no, a lot of a lot of the stuff in that video still applies though. And honestly, I've been I've been thinking about doing an updated one. It just it requires a lot of time and effort. And I, if I was gonna do one, I would want to make it as extensive, if not more extensive than that one. So, uh, it'd be a trip. It'd be one hell of a video. But anyways, XU Sparks, thank you so much, man. Get some hype up in the chat for my boy. Thank you, my dude. Thank you. We got big up in the stream. How you doing? How you doing? Extra thick Lapras. That could be like the two-year one. Like Lapras just gets like two times the size. He just becomes like a huge thick boy. Like with four C's. That'd be a little bit nuts. That'd be a little bit nuts. You need to shave your ten hairs. Hey. I. I. Don't. 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 Don't look at them. All right. Don't look at them. You can't. You can't see shit. You can't see shit. <laughs> Oh, I just came back from a Scott the Waz vid, so here I am. Yo, Silver! Shout out to Scott the Waz. What video were you watching by him? Because I love all of his stuff. He makes some incredible stuff. It, it, it's that kind of stuff. Like, his content... Um, I feel like the music is really loud. Why did the music suddenly get very loud? Come on, music. Don't be... Don't... Don't... No. Don't be doing that like that. Or don't be doing it like that. There we go. Um, Now I feel like it's too quiet. Damn it. Damn it, why is this so difficult? But yeah, no, in terms of Scott the Waz, the reason why I love his content so much, or one of the reasons, is that he has that dry sense of humor, you know? And speaking of dry sense of humor, I, I've been watching The Office for the first time, and it is ridiculous. It is actually ridiculous. I'm not going to say much more in case you guys, in case some of you guys haven't seen it, uh, but literally, I'm so invested right now. I'm about halfway through season three, and dude, I... I am in. I am in. I have never seen The Office before this, so it's it's a trip. It's a journey, but I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. Uh, but yo, Red Wing with a $5 super chat. Thank you so much, my boy. He says, assuming Vinny is on the next co-op, I'm working on a game show for you guys. Ooh, a game show? A game show? Yo, Red Wing, um, hit me up and and give me some more deets. Um, but yeah, no, Vinny, Vinny was talking about being on the Halloween episode, so the next episode of co-op. Um, so look out for that. We're also trying to like, we're trying to make it like a special episode too. So like we're going to be wearing Halloween costumes and, um, I just accidentally hit my Snapchat button. But if you guys want to follow that, <laughs> that was an accidental plug, but you know what? I'm going to own up to it. Uh, but yeah, no, we're going to be wearing costumes and it's going to be, it's going to be a great time. Thank you guys for supporting the podcast. It's been so much freaking fun hanging out with Ryan and we had Dylan on last time and we're going to have Vinny on next time. Like it's going to be nuts. It's going to be nuts. Such an awesome series, such an awesome project. Uh, it just hit me that Frank is younger than me. Yep, I am... Well, actually, I don't know how old you are, but I'm currently 17 and counting. 17 years of age and counting. Still still working on it. Not quite an adult, but I'm almost there. I'm almost there. February 13th, I'll be 18. Why is the... You know, I don't know if I like... I don't know if I like... I don't know if I like this playlist. Because the problem with it, right, is that all the songs are a different volume, and it's kind of annoying me. I'm going to go ahead. We're going to play some VGR. Let's 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 do some of that. Let's do some of that. The only reason why is because like VGR songs, they're all the same volume, so it doesn't get annoying. Um, yeah, no, that playlist was through YouTube. I think it was Ryan's stream playlist, but it, it bothers me how they're all different volumes. It just ah, it doesn't work. You know, I'm 16, hey, I'm 17 too. Yo, you guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. Thank you for coming out. 23 next Sunday. Yo, happy early birthday, my boy. Happy early birthday. Wait, can you press every plug button at once? Um, I could. I mean, the only three I have are. Yeah, Twitter, Instagram. You can kind of see them overlapping there. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, and, and Snapchat. Those are like the only three plugs I have. Um, I have a hype one. I have beep. I have what else? I have air horns. I have. I can put my monitor on screen. Oh wait. Oh wait. Wait wait wait. Wrong button. Hold up. Oops. Let me go here. Uh, I can plug the merch. Astroidmerch.shop. You already know what's up. Get the wettest merch in the game. We have co-op mugs available now as well as co-op t-shirts in celebration of the co-op. It's freaking great. Thank you guys for your support on the merch. You guys are incredible. Anyways, Gamer for Life. How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Agra Penguin said I'm two and counting. That's two more numbers than I am, so that's impressive. Frank, how was the 10 years comment the only one you saw so far? I don't know, man. I'm sorry, Shady, Shady Pass. I'm trying to look at the chat as much as I possibly can, obviously. Um, that's, that, that's, that's the goal. That's like the objective of these shiny hunting streams. You think I'm here to get shinies? No. Come on now. I'm not trying to be, not trying to be crazy. Why is my merch, why is my merch not, merch, no. No. You gotta move and show the other merch. Merch. There we go. Merch. Good, good merch. Good merch. Frank has evolved from a fetus. Yeah. You know, now I'm a fetus with, with hair. I'm gonna stop that now. 
Um, <laughs> quick plug though, what is merch on the game? Yeah, you already know what's up. Oh, did it freeze again? It froze again. This bitch, this bitch. We're really, I'm, I'm not letting you freeze. No, you're gonna, you're gonna finish that animation. You silly goose. You silly goose. What's up? What's up, Frank? Yo, crippled kid. How you doing, man? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Frank, can I be your 10 hairs? Sure. Why not? I mean, listen, we got 10 of them. How many people do we have in the chat? How many people do we have in the chat? We have 64 people. All right. So six of you are going to have to share one hair, but hopefully that's not too big of an issue. I mean, uh, they are pretty boisterous. So you could you could probably fit six people on one of these. Babies. I can see it. I can see it. You just gotta you just gotta manage your your space. You know, you need space management. You need time management. Uh, or maybe you could take turns. Like if you guys if the six of you guys wanted to get into a group and just take turns. I mean that would work too. Um, I mean it kind of just depends on which way you want to go with it. I can't flip any floppity wait for the Halloween co-op. It's gonna be great. I I'm so excited. I'm legit so excited. It's gonna be nuts. It's gonna be absolutely nuts. We're gonna have costumes and. Ah, it's gonna be great. I actually I have to go to Party City and get a costume because the costume that I want is I want the inflatable T-Rex costumes. I want the big boy like you guys have seen them the inflatable ones where you, the face is like in the neck. I wanted that. I really 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 wanted that but I don't think I'm gonna be able to get one shipped before Halloween even with Amazon Prime like there's no way. Um because I was looking at it today and like basically all of them are gonna come in November 1st. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is uh, just go to Party City and try and find one like in the store, like try and find a physical one, not try and order it. Which I don't know. I don't even know if they sell them in, in stores. I mean, I'm gonna figure it out. Um, we'll see what happens. Worst case scenario, I'll have to get another costume. But I don't know. When's the appropriate time to start the ho cr the Christmas festivities? Please answer me. Uh, after Halloween. After Halloween, you can start getting into it. I uh, I respect that. Basically, just November. November, you can start taking out your your little Christmas uh, decorations and starting to like you know put them around the house. You can you can start easing into that going into November. But once December hits, like you just you gotta have that tree up though. You ease in with November and then December first, you're buying. Oh, I just hit my DS with a karate chop. I am sorry, DS. Wow, I I I think that hurt my finger more than I hurt my DS. <laughs> But I literally just went blop straight into my DS. I'm not trying to break this thing, man. I've literally had this DS for like five years. Five years. Ever since X and Y came out. And I've had the capture card for four. So that's a little bit ridiculous. Anyways, though. Anyways, yeah, December though, once December rolls around, you gotta get that tree up. You literally have to be out of your house at November 31st, or on November 31st, at December 1st, at midnight. The night of November that you know what I mean. You gotta be out of your house and buying a Christmas tree. That is a fact. And not just buying like you have to have it set up. Like uh, you don't just buy it and just have it sit in your pantry. Like no, you gotta you gotta set up this boy. What up, Dad? Yo, Jonathan, how you doing, man? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Can you break into the cheese it wall for an intro moment on a video? I actually I actually did that in one of the Q and A episodes. Um, I wouldn't say well, bro I, I, it depends on what you mean by broke into. I mean, I knocked it down. I uh, it was it was the most recent episode, the last episode of the Q and A series. I uh, I ended up knocking down the whole damn thing. Yo, beast mode though with the two hour super chat. Thank you so much, my boy. He says, no, don't start until after Thanksgiving. Yeah, I mean that's where that's when you start getting hardcore into it. But I I would say throughout November, you can you can especially if you're not a big Thanksgiving person, like you can just. Just kind of like sprinkle it in, like just maybe maybe like one day, just throw up like a Christmas calendar, or like the next week, right? You like on a week by week basis, you go and you just add smaller stuff. So like next week, uh, you you add a calendar, and then the next week you add a little ornament. Uh, next week you add a little mistletoe. You just keep adding smaller and smaller stuff, and just kind of slowly ease into it, and then. Um, and then, and then Thanksgiving happens, and then you're like, oh shoot, better bring out the tree, and then you put the tree down, and. Yeah, it's great. Uh, can you calm down? Are you okay? Wishy-washy? Uh, I was never okay. But um, thank you. <laughs> thank you for coming out. <laughs> no, I'm just in a weird mood today. I'm having a great time. I'm in a very, very rambly mood, but also like in a, in a mood to talk to you guys and just hang out. And uh, Yo, Maxify, how you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Did, did the stream get tweeted out? Did the stream get tweeted? Oh, my God. Okay, I just checked Twitter. <laughs> Penguin King! Penguin King, you legend, you freaking legend. Hang on, hang on, you legend. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We are literally twins. I don't think you understand. 
I don't think you understand how big of twins we are. This is ridiculous. Uh, let me, I'm actually, I'm gonna put on my headphones because I can't hear myself and I wanna be able to hear myself. So I'm gonna casually do that. I kind of rushed into the pan ahead without really thinking too much here. Um, are you looking forward to Ryan's rap? Yes. Yeah, no, I cannot wait. His sleep block is tomorrow, by the way. In case you guys are wondering, sub to King Core for shameless plug. He's doing a sleep block tomorrow. We're all gonna be there. It's gonna be fantastic. Anyways. Hey everybody, King 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 Corfish here, and uh, and welcome back. <laughs> I have to speak out of the eye hole because um because li literally like I I you can't you can't even hear it's so muffled. No, oh, you can't you can't even hear me. I feel like I can't even move my lips when I'm talking into the actual like nose part. Yo, XV Sparks. Well, five dollars super chat. Thank you so much, man. He says this is a deep question. How did Lapras become your mascot? Because honestly, I was thinking about having my own mascot. And when is the next fan meetup? Yo, XZ Sparks. Thank you so much, my boy. Get some live in the chat for my boy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yo, get some pandas up in this chat. I want to see just a wall of panda emotes. Um, but anyways, how did Lapras become your mascot? Basically, I. I always liked Lapras. I didn't really have a fair Pokemon, though. Like, I always liked him. He was always up there. But I didn't really have a fair Pokemon for, like, the longest time. Uh, I, I, I used to, like, watch him in the anime. And I, I liked him because Ash had him. And uh, he was just, he was just like, appealing to me, you know? Uh, but he was never my favorite. And then suddenly, I don't know what really came about me. But, uh, but when I went to go make my YouTube channel... I, I just decided to, to make him my mascot. I don't know what it is. I guess I was just feeling him that day. I guess I just kind of woke up and I was like, hey, you know, Lapras is really cool. Um, and I thought it was unique and I thought it was cool. So I just, I made him my mascot and now he's my favorite Pokemon. Like he became my mascot and then I grew more attached to him and now he's my favorite Pokemon. Um, like he, he became my mascot first, you know? So, like, he was always up there, but he wasn't, like, my favorite. I, I liked Pokemon like Flygon and Salamence and, like, there were a bunch of Pokemon that were up there for me. Scizor. Um, Ryan went live? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. We got to raid this man. We got to raid this man, 100%. 100%. Um, I think he's doing Benny and the Ink Machine, right? I think so. I think so. Yo, can he call Ryan again? I'm down. Ugh. Oof. Oof. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave the panda head. To sit like right there, just cause I I, I don't know. I feel like I felt like I was suffocating in there. Uh, yo, beast mode though. Another five dollars super chat. Thank you so much, my boy. He says, told Vinny I'd donate a hundred dollars if he did a rap battle with Ryan. Also, Ryan just went live. Just an FYI. Ah, yo, beast mode. Thank you so much, my boy. Honestly, I would love to see that rap battle because Ryan would get utterly destroyed. I kind of hope. Like I, there's a part of me that wants to see Ryan. Uh, cause in case you guys didn't know, he's doing a sleepwalk tomorrow and he's gonna be rapping. He's gonna be doing some sort of rap. I know he's been working on it like nonstop today. And I haven't seen it yet. Like he hasn't, he hasn't leaked or teased anything. But, um, but, 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 but part of me wants to see it be garbage, right? Part, part of me, part of me just wants to like see it be utter garbage, uh, just because that'd be hilarious, right? Trying to see Ryan rap. But another part of me wants it to be absolute fire because it would just blow everyone's pants off. And I know, actually, I'm kind of leaning towards it being absolute fire just because of the fact that Scott is working on it with him. In case you guys don't know who Scott is, uh, he is a friend of ours. He does a lot of music stuff and uh, he's making like a custom beat and he's mixing it. Like he, he's doing it, he's doing it professionally. Like it's going to sound really good. Whether Ryan actually kills it with the bars is a whole nother story, but um, I'm excited. I'm really pumped. We'll see what happens. And uh, I, I'm, I have, I have optimism though. Like I'm confident Ryan is going to do a great job. Uh, but yeah, a rap battle between Ryan and Vinny would be interesting. I'm sure Vinny would blow him out of the water just because obviously Vinny has more experience and this man is a god tier rapper. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it would, it would still be very interesting, especially if Ryan puts up a good fight tomorrow. Like, it'd be ridiculous. Blow everyone's pants off. What is with you today? <laughs> Why? That's a phrase. That's a phrase. I didn't make that up. The banana thing. The banana thing. I might have, I might have made that up. I might have, might have, might have, might have made that up a little bit. Um, but the, the blow your pants off thing, that, that's a thing. I know that's a thing. That is a, uh, well-established phrase. Ryan's a fair PokeTuber. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Ryan is a fantastic boy. Yo, XV Sparks with the membership. Get some flippity floppity hype up in the chat. Thank you so much, man. Welcome to the member squad. Welcome to the elite. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, my boy. Get some hype up in the chat for XV Sparks. 
And, um, and yeah, be sure to go ahead. If you guys uh, are a member and you haven't joined the Discord, be sure to go ahead and do that. Link down below. Uh, and even if you're not a member, join the Discord. We have chats for everybody, not just, obviously, members. Uh, but if you guys are a member, you guys do get access to that private Discord chat. Now, in order to gain access to that, you do have to go ahead and link your YouTube gaming to your Discord. Uh, so I'd highly recommend you guys go ahead and do that. That way you gain access to the chat and you gain access to a bunch of your perks. And you got emotes, you got loyalty badges. It's freaking great. New emotes coming soon. I'm excited. Uh, but XP Sparks, thank you so much for becoming a member, my guy. I appreciate it. Vinny's rap on a sleep lock was fire. Oh, dude, his crystal one was 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I think my favorite Vinny rap, though, would probably be his, uh, probably be his Geek Cypher or, I don't know, maybe, maybe his Geek Cypher. Maybe, maybe his Geek Cypher. I don't know. I like, I like his Geek Cypher a lot. Um, then again, there's, there's not many, there's not many Vinny raps that I don't like. Like, there, there's maybe one Vinny rap that I'm not the biggest fan of. Uh, and if I were to say which one it'd be, I'd, pr I'd probably say the Mario 64 one. And the liter literally the only reason why is because, like, the first half is really good. But then towards the end, I, and this, is, this isn't, like, me bashing on Vinny or anything. I absolutely love the guy. But towards the end, it gets, like, super duper random, which I get is, like, in the spirit of the series. But in terms of, like, a song that I would listen to, it's kind of like, eh, you know. Uh, but absolutely, like, literally, if you guys haven't heard him rap, he's incredible. All of his stuff is fantastic a1 awesome like he, he, he kills it all the time uh asher can count to 30 his fingers toes and his mustache hairs. <laughs> is that a new meme now is that a new meme now it's j just because just because now you guys you guys can see him you guys can see my mustache hairs now and like now now it's a meme okay that makes that makes sense you know they've always been there like, these mustache hairs have existed this whole time. They've just been undercover uh, by the by the veil of a really, really subpar webcam. <laughs> Anyways, I just joined the Discord. Yo, thank you so much, XC Sparks. I appreciate it, man. Uh, I have four streams up right now and not sure what to do. Diak, you just got to pick one, man. Or just meeny, meeny, miny, mo. Or uh, just, just let all the audio play and hope for the best. <laughs> best of luck to you, my guy. Best of luck to you. Uh, why well, actually looking like a boy band member? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, I I could be Carlos from Big Time Rush. I mean, I uh, wouldn't be against that. Uh, I'd probably say I'd probably say mm, I'd probably say uh, who's the who's the who's the who's like the model guy? Who's the model guy? You have Kendall as like the main guy, and then Carlos, and then like who's the other guy? I don't even know. I don't even know. You, Ryan, and Dylan are streaming? Oof. Yeah, talk about good timing. Talk about good timing. We really, really thought that through, didn't we? Uh, James! Yeah, that's it. That's it. James James is probably my favorite. Just because he's, like, he's attractive, and he is, well, I mean, they're all attractive. I mean, they're literally, like, model boy band, like, like 13-year-old girl, like, fan crush. Y you know what I mean? Like, they're, they're, like, model material. But what I'm saying is that James is, like, the hot one, right? And he also has fantastic flippy hair, and I, I respect that. That's probably, like, the only reason why I like him. I haven't seen the show in forever, to be totally honest. Come on, Rowlett. Yeah, come on. Come on, boy. Come on, ma'am. Please. Please, Rowlett. I, I beg of you. The third one, no, no one knows the name of. Yeah, no, it's Carlos. I, I'm, I'm going to look this up. I'm actually, I'm going to look this. I'm going to look this up. I'm going to look this up. Uh, Big time rush. Members members who are the band members james oh yeah it's carlos logan logan carlos james kendall and then this guy named dustin belt who's dustin belt literally never heard of this guy but he seems cool he's a guitarist oh so i guess there are five of them even though literally you only see these four that is weird that is weird i you know you learn something new every day and sometimes it's something about big time rush and you just gotta accept that uh peep dms after the stream all right i got you redwing i got you Next loyalty badge, your 10 mustache hairs. <laughs> it's just like, yo, now we got to get a mustache hair emote. Shoot, man. Shoot. And I, I just got done commission, commissioning in him. Um, damn it. Uh, hey, Astra, I noticed that you were streaming Pokemon Mystery Dungeon recently, and you're and you're a new corner to the game series, or a newcomer to the game series, so how are you enjoying it? I'm loving it, man. I'm loving it. It's definitely different from anything that I've ever played before, but uh, it's pretty cool. It's interesting, for sure. I'm, like, just now starting to get the hang of it, though. Like, I feel like in the last stream was, like, the first time where I really knew what I was doing. 
Um, so yeah, it's getting better. It's it, now that I'm like done with all the tutorial stuff, it's it's getting into some interesting story stuff, and I'm having a good time. In case you guys are wondering, uh, we are doing mystery dungeon. We were supposed to have one yesterday, but we didn't uh, due to personal reasons. I I probably probably should have mentioned that on Twitter sooner. Um, but yeah, no, yesterday, yesterday was a little bit of a, a little bit of a train wreck, so we didn't get the chance to stream Mystery Dungeon, but, uh, the ideal schedule, or what we're trying to do is Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, we're probably not gonna do one this Saturday, literally just because of Ryan's sleep lock, so kind of bad timing with that, but for sure, we'll be back on Tuesday with some more, uh, Mystery Dungeon, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to stick on that Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. I'm actually pretty proud of myself, because I've streamed, like, almost every single day this week, and I'm kind of excited about that, like, we streamed on Twitch a little bit. We streamed, uh, we did like a, like a Q and a mobile stream when I got back from my trips and then we did, what else did we do? We had the co-op podcast, obviously, uh, we had mystery dungeon and, uh, it's just been a good old time. And then we had that one stream on Twitch, which I think we did shiny hunting on Twitch too. So it's, uh, it's been a good old time. It's been a good old time. In case you guys, uh, don't know, I am trying to do some more stuff on Twitch. If you guys want to follow me there, twitch.tv slash astromedia videos link down below. Um, it's a, it's a pretty, pretty fantastic time. It is a pretty fantastic time. We're chilling, hanging out. It's solid. Uh, well, this layout looks super clean. I didn't know if it's just the camera angle, but everything just looks better. Yo, live films. I'm glad you're liking it, man. I'm glad you're liking it, man. Yeah, I did get a new camera, in case you guys are wondering. I have the Panasonic Lumix G7. That's the new one. Uh, so I'm not rocking out with a webcam today. Like, I have an actual camera, and it's hooked up to a cam link, and it's really cool. Super excited about it. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it looks super duper clean. There's so much more detail in my face, and I'm just, I'm loving it. And also, it's so smooth. Look at it. It's so smooth. My other face cam was not that smooth. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited about this. I'm super duper 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 pumped and I'm really glad you guys are liking it. Obviously, I'm still tweaking some things. I'm still working on, uh, fine tuning it, but for the most part, it's, I'm really, really happy with it right now. It's fantastic. Uh, how do you guys think Ryan Sleepbox is going to end this time of my on Earthquake? I would say Waterfall. I would say Waterfall is going to be the finishing attack. Uh, yo, Sparks with a follow on Twitch. Thank you so much, my boy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really do appreciate it. Um, so at what time does Ryan Sleepbox start? I actually don't know. I could I could go ahead and check that for you though. Hold up, let me let me blah blah blah. Ryan, oh no, he's 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 King Corpfish or King Corpses now. I keep forgetting that. Like you can't you can't just type Ryan in there anymore. Uh, 10 a.m. Eastern. So that's gonna be um that's gonna be nine. 9 a.m. my time, or yeah, 9 a.m. Central time, right? Uh, yo, total side note though, but it is Ryan's birthday today. If you guys have not wished him a happy birthday, I go ahead and urge you. Uh, he's live right now. I'd recommend you guys go over and just wish him a happy birthday for me because honestly, this man, this man, he deserves it. He's such a good boy. I left him this huge birthday message um, last night, like right when midnight struck, and uh, it was it was feelsy. It was. It was a trip, man. Ryan's just a really good boy, and he's 19 today, which is really nostalgic considering the fact that, like, I've known this man for four years, four or five years, um, and so just to see him turn 19 is kind of ridiculous, especially when I knew him when he was, I knew him when he was 15, so it's kind of, it's kind of nuts. We've both come so far together, and it's just, it's really sentimental, man. So Ryan's birthday, uh, big shout out to him, obviously. He's, he's a freaking legend. Uh, I was in 480p, and I needed to crank this shit up to 1080p. Yo, you already know. You already know. Out here rocking out with the finest of details. How are you supposed to see my beautiful, disgusting 10 mustache hairs without 1080p? Like, you just can't. You just can't, man. Uh, one thing about having a nice camera that I'm really excited about is it allows me to do these zoom-ins without losing a lot of quality. Like, like this zoom-in looked a lot worse on my other webcam. Um, so I'm really excited about that. It's just, it's a good old time, man. It's a good old time. Obviously, I'm still tweaking some things. I'm still working on it. But for the most part, I'm really happy with how this is going. Uh, I'll be getting a Switch. Thanks for the advice, if you remember. Yeah, take the kick. 100%, man. 100%, man. Best of luck to you. Um, hopefully, you do get that Switch because it's it's worth it, man. It's awesome. It is a fantastic console. Um, that birthday message was amazing. Ryan's a good boy. He is a good boy, man. He is a good boy. I, I... <laughs> He's, he's like, he's a, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. I don't even know what else to say, man. It's just nostalgic. We've come, like, so far together, and he's, like, one of my best friends, and it's just, it's good. It's fantastic. Um, if you get a shiny today, then it would literally be perfect timing to celebrate Ryan. Yeah, no. I would love, I would love to get a shiny right now, and then we could just, like, have it in the celebration of Ryan. Um, like, like, game, please. Just, just give me, give me a shiny so we can go ahead, celebrate Ryan's birthday. That'll be my birthday gift for him, so I won't have to actually, you know get him anything <laughs> I actually I did buy him something um it is it is business related though I bought him the next shirt for the next uh three-way 
Uh, so we do have matching shirts for that. Again, it's going to be freaking amazing. Of course, Dylan is left out as usual. Uh, it's going to be awesome. I just bought my first face cam. It's called the C920. It's nice, 1080p and 30, 30 FPS, but it looks clean. Oh, yeah, dude. I started with the C920. I still have my C920, actually. Yeah, no. I, um, right here. Right here. My boy. My son. Um, yeah, no. I had the C920. This was my first face cam. And then I had the Brio, which is the one that I've used for, like, 99% of my, my YouTube career, which is... Which is, which is this big boy. Ah, uh, he, he, he has a really long extension cable. Um, but this, this is the webcam. It's the Brio. So I went from this to this. And then now I have like, I posted it on, I posted a picture of it on Instagram. But it's like an actual camera. It's the Panasonic Lumix G7. Freaking beautiful. Super excited about it. And it's like, it's cool, man. It's cool. Um. Let me go ahead and put this away. This this is a lot of cable. Uh, because the well the reason why I needed this much cable is because I'm gonna be putting this webcam across the other side of the room. So I needed one that stretched all the way uh, across the room. Ugh. You know that's why it's like a 20 foot USB extension cable. It's a little bit ridiculous. Anyways, yo hi Astro to Christian. How you doing, man? How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. I really do appreciate it, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Everybody, are you Team Pikachu or Team Eevee? Uh, I am probably Eevee, but I'm probably going to get Pikachu, to be honest. Just because um, just because I don't really mind which one I get. And if me and Ryan are doing a co-op sleep block, which that's the current plan, look out for that. Uh, when the game drops, uh, I'm going to have to be Pikachu just because I'm on the left side of the layout. So, I'll probably do Pikachu, even though I'd probably want to get Eevee. I might get both. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. It's kind of up in the air. Always plugging. You already know what's up. Yo, speaking of plugging, man, do I have a plug for you guys. AstroidMerch.shop. Link down below. Shameless plug. Wettest merch in the game. You already know what's up. We got co-op mugs now out. It's freaking beautiful. You can drink your... You can drink your ice milk in it, and and we got co-op t-shirts as well, celebrating the new uh, collaborative series we're doing with Ryan and uh, and others, because guests are allowed on. Uh, and the shirt animation stopped again. Come on, man. Come on, man. Don't don't fail on me. Don't be doing this. Hey, my bro. Yo, L27. How you doing, man? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hopefully, you guys have a fantastic day. Let me know down below. Let me know down below. What did you guys do today? Like, just, just give me, like, a full itinerary. How? What? What happened? Just give me like a full rundown, every single step of the way. I, <laughs> it's a little bit excessive, but yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go wish Ryan a happy birthday, BRB. Yeah, no, be sure to go and wish this man a happy birthday. If he's still live, uh, by the time we wrap up, then we'll definitely give him a birthday raid, 100%. Is there a particular reason that we are Rowlet hunting? Um, well, I started doing Rowlet just because I kind of wanted to. I was just kind of feeling it. I started doing it months ago. And I just, I never actually got the shiny. And I, I have a rule, right? Like, I, I told myself when I started shiny hunting that I would not, like, move on to a different shiny until I got the previous shiny that I was looking for. So, basically, we're never we're never hunting anything ever again if we never get this Rowlet. Um, like, I'm, I'm not going to move on unless I get it. So, I, I don't know why I made that stupid rule for myself. But, at this point, I'm just kind of sticking to it. And we're going to rock out with it. Um, but, yeah. I'm from the south. I drink sweet tea in my mugs. Oh yeah, yeah. So you're a Dylan. You're a Dylan. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta embrace your uh, your your habitat. <laughs> as weird as that sounds, um, you yeah, know, I actually I live in the south too. I'm in Tennessee right now. Um, I used to live in Chicago though, so like I would say that I'm from the north, just because I lived a majority of my life in the north. But um, I do live in Tennessee now, so I guess I'm a southern boy. I don't know. Um, nothing. No schools due to. Uh, wait, Nevada Dat? Nevada, Nevada Dat. Honestly, I have no idea what that is. Um, but uh, that's awesome, man. Glad you got off. Actually, today's my birthday, and I learned that it's Ryan's birthday too. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Yo, we gotta get some birthday hype. You already know what's up. Hang on. Hey Google, sing happy birthday. <clears throat> Yo, get some birthday hype up in the stream for my boy, my 
boy, Team Primal Admin Ser Serio. That's how you pronounce your name. Honestly, it was a pretty long-winded name, and I didn't remember the whole thing, if I'm being totally for real. But how you doing? Thank you so much for stopping by. Hopefully, your birthday's going well, man. And uh, we're going to have to do that for Ryan, too. If Ryan stops by somehow, I don't know. It really just depends on who ends their stream first, to be honest. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. But if Ryan's able to stop by, then we'll do the happy birthday treatment for him. Or what we can do is we can do it, like, as we're raiding him. That might be smart. We could do that. Or we could just do it in his chat. We could just literally spam, like, the entire birthday song in his chat. That'd be nice. When are we getting the exclusive MySpace posts? MySpace posts? Um, tomorrow. <laughs> right now. Uh, I actually, I never used MySpace. I'm, I'm not old enough. I'm not old enough. I was 17, or I, I am 17 years old. And uh, the first social media that I ever used was Facebook. Um, like, I, I never used MySpace or anything before that. So I literally just rocked out with Facebook. I remember I made my Facebook account without my mom knowing. My mom didn't want me to have one. And, um, and I ended up, like, secretly making one. I got my first laptop, right, when I was, like, seven years old. And I was being so rebellious that day. I was like, you know what? I'm going to make a Facebook account. So I went on, made one. I was like hiding under my covers too. Like I wasn't playing games. I wasn't about to get caught. Um, so I made a, I made a Facebook account. And, um, and yeah. It, uh, now I don't use Facebook anymore. <laughs> I never use Facebook. Facebook is like my least favorite social media, to be totally honest. Um, if I had to list my social medias, I would say Twitter definitely on top and then probably snapchat and then instagram and then that's just kind of it those are like the main social medias that i use and i guess i guess youtube is technically a social media too technically right and i guess if we're if we're basing it out if we're including youtube youtube would be number one and then uh twitter and stuff like that but literally i i love twitter twitter is 100 percent my favorite like traditional social media just because it's so like i don't know it's just it's so good I, I, I don't know how to say it, man. Maybe it's just because of, like, all the friends I've made on there. Maybe it's just because of the fact that there's, like, a sense of community. Uh, maybe it's just because everything is kind of short and sweet to the point. I don't know. It's it's just great. I like Twitter a lot. Um, and, like, the whole retweet system works really well. It's simple. It works. And and for the most part, and I say this with, with like, grain of salt, but oh, we don't need good Betty. Come on now. Uh, but for the most part, everything is in order. For the most part, like, I, hopefully everything is in order. Sometimes, sometimes it's not. Sometimes, like, they'll give you, like, the, uh, the what you missed stuff, you know. But I'm pretty sure you can turn that stuff off. Um, but honestly, I don't, I don't really mind it, so I don't. I was listening to Ryan Astrid and Dylan for a while, but I started getting whiplash. Yeah, I don't blame you, man. I, I don't blame you. Just do any, mini money mo. Pick a stream. Pick a stream. Any stream. But, uh, yeah, no, we should, we should probably, we should probably, like, I don't know, schedule that better to where we're not all streaming at the same time. That's that's something that we should probably do just because like then it, then like, you know, because our communities are so intertwined um, It's hard for people to like like see all the content just because we're all live at the same time You got to You got to just pick one, you know uh, So we should probably schedule that better. Honestly, honestly, we might we might have to start doing that Usually what I what I actually want to start doing is I want to start streaming earlier in the day like right when I go home from school, make that my streaming time as opposed to like seven o'clock because I feel like everybody streams at night. It'd be so much easier if I just went live, um, like right when I go home from school, like four thirty. I just went live and then I worked on everything else I had to after the after the fact. The only problem with that though is that in terms of like, in terms of like me and my motivation and that kind of stuff, usually after I'm done live streaming, I'm exhausted. So like if I if I do a stream right when I go from school and that's like the first thing that I do, then I'm kind of worn out for like the rest of what I got to do in terms of editing and recording and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, do you like Dobbs or Pimp Night more? Um, well, to be totally honest, I don't really know Pimp Night like at all. I, I definitely know Dobbs better than I do Pimp Night, so I'd probably say Dobbs, but I, I don't want to choose favorites, you know. Uh, it literally just boils down to, I, I don't, I barely know Pimp Knight, to be totally honest. Yo, Frank, dude, yo, Adam, how you doing, man? Welcome to the stream, thank you for stopping by. Do you talk to Dobbs? Yeah, we, um, we're not, like, best friends or anything, but, like, we, um, we, we talk occasionally. Like, I, he, um, he commissions me a lot for intros and stuff like that. It's, it's more of, like, if I, if I had to describe my relationship with Dobbs, it would be definitely, like, business, business orientated, you know? Like, we just kind of work together, and, like, that's kind of it, you know? Um, which isn't a bad thing. I mean, Dobbs, he's a super chill dude. Like, it's it's totally cool. Um, but, yeah. I might have used my whole bank account on Ryan. So, yo, XV Sparks. XV Sparks. 
Oh my god! I'm gonna take off my socks because damn, I'm, I'm getting sweaty up in here. That's a little bit, it's a little bit nuts. Oh my god. Um, wait, did I just, I just landed? Do you guys see that? Hold up, hold up. Do you, do you guys, do you guys see that? That right there, that 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 white thing on top of the teddy bear, that was my sock that I just threw, and it landed. It bounced off the floor, and landed on the chair. Wow. <laughs> Look at me go. Look at me go. Um, anyways, rip bank account, boys. Yo, XC Sparks, you freaking, you freaking legend, man. I can only imagine. I can only imagine. Um, but yeah, no, wish him happy birthday. I mean, he, honestly, Ryan's a good boy. He deserves all the love and support he gets. Um, because he's, he's just a, he's a great guy. He's a great guy. He's a great creator. He's just, he's a good boy. Uh, Dyson, though, with the follow. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the follow on Twitch. I appreciate it. Ashley, behind you. Where? Don't be scaring me like that. Don't be scaring me like that. You 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 know you know if there were a spider behind me, I would freak and I would cry. Don't do that to me, please. Please don't. <laughs> Anything but that. Anything but that. Anyways, it knocked your socks off, not your pants. Well, who says my pants can't come off too? Why does it just have to be the socks, Red Wing? Come on, we could have more than just the socks. That's no fun. Yo, Dio with the sub. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Welcome to the Lapras Legion. Thank you for stopping by. Anyways, have you found a shiny for it? No, I have not. But that, that could be our next hunt if we ever find Rowlet. But then again, I mean, the odds of us finding Rowlet are pretty slim right now. I mean, this this man, this man's going to be, this, we're going to be hunting this man till our death. I'm going to be, I'm going to be in my deathbed still hunting this man. I, honestly, at this rate. Have you ever been Lapras shiny hunting? Uh, I have not. I've always wanted to. I've always wanted to. But, um, but I, I'm, I just haven't got the chance to. Basically, my whole mindset, right? Is I think I think back in the day I had said that I was gonna do Lapras hunting after this hunt, um, and I honestly I, I might still do that. Honestly, I haven't really like thought about extensively uh, what our next hunt's gonna be, but it could be Lapras just just to make just to make sure we at least get our mascot at some point. That'd probably be fun. But um, but yeah, no, I've literally I've been doing this hunt for so long that I just I've just kind of accepted that this is this is the end of my shiny hunting career. This is like like we either find this and move on with our life finally. Or, or we, we just, we hunt Rollet for the rest of our life. And I'm full, I'm fully prepared for either option. Uh, how many encounters do you think you've done? Uh, probably over, probably over a thousand. Probably, well, then again, I was pretty slow. Um, I'm a pretty slow hunter. And, and also, and also we haven't like done a crazy amount of live streams with this series. Like, like we've been doing it for a while, but I, it's not like I've been doing it every week. Like it's been like an every other week sort of thing. So um so so yeah it's probably probably not a whole lot i'd 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 say probably 500 would be a safe bet but which i know probably doesn't sound like a lot to all you super extensive shiny hunter super extensive shiny hunters yeah if i can speak english um but but it, it's a lot for me 100 percent. have you ever been shiny hunted oh like the hunter becomes the hunted sort of thing yeah yeah no, I, I know i know what that's like um back back in uh daycare I used to get hunted by these shiny hunters all the time. They'd come in uh, with their with their DSs and their uh, and their like little little um, what's it like their Masuda method hunting uh, pennies. Have you guys ever seen that before? Like you take a penny and uh, oh wait wrong button. You take a penny basically and you put it underneath the circle pad uh, when you go in Lumio City. I used to do this all the time when I was breeding. But uh, you'd put like a penny under there. And then it would hold it down, and then you would go in the main circle of Lumio City, and you would just keep going in a circle. Like, your bike would just keep going, and that's how you would hatch eggs. Um, yeah, fun facts. Fun facts with Asteroid. That used to be my strategy when I used to play competitive. When I was, like, super into the uh, competitive game, and I was trying to breed, and I, I was trying to go to a VGC tournament. Um, yeah, no, that was that was, that was the good old times, man. Back in X and Y. Ah, good times. Good times. I'm a little boy, so I can't stream a tip, so it's cool that we can kind of talk to you. Yeah, 100%. 100%, Jake the Cake. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for just hanging out. Um, honestly, like, one of my one of my biggest fears, and I've talked about this all the time, uh, one of my biggest fears when it comes to live streaming is, like, going live and nobody showing up, you know? Because having a dead chat is not only, like, really discouraging, but it's also really hard to keep commentary going by yourself, you know, with no one to bounce off, off of. So... Uh, I really, really appreciate you guys coming out. I really, really appreciate you guys just stopping in and saying hi. Like, genuinely, that that it is, m like, more than enough, you know? Um, back in Nam, we became the shiny hunted. 
<laughs> Back in Nam, we became the shiny hunted. God, dude. God. Dealing with a dead chai is a real oof. I learned that quick. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Like, that's why, that's why if you're just getting into live streaming and, and you, you can, you can safely assume that you're going to have a dead chat. Um, assuming that, like, especially if you're just starting off, like, it's literally like one of your first live streams, you're probably going to have a dead chat. Um, unless you get raided by somebody, which in that case, you're extremely lucky, but, um, you're probably going to have a dead chat. And the biggest advice I can give to that is just have somebody in a, in a call. Like, get one of your closest friends, get them on a Discord call. And, and stream with them. That way you just have someone to bounce off of, you know? That way there, there's just always commentary flowing. You can just talk, hang out, and treat it more as like just hanging out with your friend as opposed to um, live streaming, you know? You know, because then, then you're not like, you don't have to try and uh, commentate by yourself for two hours because most live streams are about two hours. And if you... If you're by yourself and there's nobody in your chat, like, I, it's hard. Especially if you're just starting out and you're not the best at commentating. Like, you're just getting into the whole commentating thing and you don't have much experience with it. Um, it's, it's tough to commentate, period, like, with people. But it's even, it's even harder if you have no one to bounce off with. So I'd recommend having a friend on the call. That way you have someone to talk to. And that way when people join your stream, because there's, there's going to be, there's going to be people who stop in and out. Um, and that way, like, when, when they do join, they're not joining to silence, you know? Uh, cause that, that's like always a big turnoff if you join a live stream and it's just like, nobody's talking. Um, that's why like in my live streams, I try to talk as much as possible. Like I try to keep the commentary flowing, keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh, don't have those like awkward silent moments because there's a lot of streamers out there and, and it, it's totally understandable. Like it makes sense. There's a lot of people who like that sort of commentary. Um, but there's a bunch of streamers that will have like huge gaps of silence. Um, like I'll talk about the game for a little bit and then silence and then some some streamers don't even commentate much at all It's more just like heavily gameplay focused and obviously there's like a market for everybody, but uh, when it comes to like being entertaining and and uh, Especially like our community's live streams. I feel like it's important to just be constantly commentating that way That way it's just always interesting. You know, there's always something going on um, If you're streaming and you have a dead chat would it be good to just pretend like you're recording? Yeah, I mean that that's a good idea. That's a good idea 100% Hundred um, percent. But the only problem with that is, like, usually if you're recording a video, at least in like the Pokemon community's case, like an average Let's Play episode is thirty minutes, and 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 so you you can you you can keep a commentary going for thirty minutes, but can you do it for two hours? Like that's that's a whole other story. And can you do it live? Like that's it's a whole different ballpark. It's hard to just do a video. It's hard to approach it with a video commentary mindset. You know. Um, I mean, if, if you can, 100% go with it. And if it helps you, 100% go with it. But, but it is, it is tough. It is tough. I'm here and off topic, but I just recently discovered your channel. Really enjoy your commentary and Pokemon stuff. Can't wait to catch more streams such vids as I go. Yo, Diet, thank you so much. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for subbing. I appreciate it. Welcome, 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 welcome. Uh, Idiot Productions, how you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Thank you, thank you. Welcome back. Uh, Luxiv, 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 Mania Videos. Thank you for coming out. Uh, you got 50 people who are probably willing to jump in a call with you right here. Maybe hard to hear anything though. Yeah, I mean, obviously, um, obviously you don't want to call that big because I mean, shoot, that would be a little bit nuts. Um, I think the biggest call I've ever had was like a 20 person call, 20 or 30. And especially on stream, that's just chaotic. I, to be totally honest with you guys, I prefer, I prefer streaming by myself. Um, just because like, not because I'm like antisocial or not because like, I don't like talking to people, but it's more so it, it, it just kind of gives me control of my live stream. You know, when you have a lot of different people in a call and it's, there's a lot of different people trying to talk at once. It's hard to interact. First of all, interact with your chat. And second of all, um, it's hard to just like focus on the stream. You know, you got to focus on the conversation, which when you're small, and you don't, you don't have like a super active chat, like that works, that totally works. But uh, if you do have viewers watching you, you want to give them attention, you want to like be able to respond to them, and um, and that's why, um, that's why, that's why it's tough. You know, am I making sense? I don't know, I don't know. You're still looking for the rowlet? Yeah, yep, yep. This is this is my life now. This is this is this is my existence. Welcome, 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 welcome. Hi, Daddy. Your bread's gone. How you doing? How you doing, boy? Welcome to the stream. You guys liking the new face cam quality? You guys digging it? it? It looks nice, right? Hopefully, maybe. I'm still working out the tweaks, but um, yeah, I got a dedicated camera. Not using a webcam anymore. Super pumped about it. And um, yeah, you can you can see you can see the individual mustache 
mustache hairs, all right? All ten of them. All ten of them. It's nuts. It's nuts. Oh, Jeff's guy, how you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. He says, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, man. Uh, I went to school. Uh, I was not going to lie. I was super exhausted this morning. This morning was a little bit of a trip. It was a tired morning. But I uh, woke up, went to school, and uh, now I'm here. My camera actually came in early. It wasn't actually supposed to be here until Monday, but it showed up today. And I was like, shoot, dude, that's awesome. That's awesome. So, yeah. You're actually honestly syncing out the audio between Audacity and OBS on my face cam is hard. LOL. Um, what I do, if if you want like um, if you want like a like a tip or three, um, I'm gonna go and put my phone over here because it was vibrating and shaking the whole table. But if you want a tip uh, in terms of syncing that, what I do is I in the in the start of the video I make sure that obviously Audacity is recording my mic, I make sure OBS is recording my mic, and I make sure well you, usually I I open two instances of OBS, but then just make sure your face cam software is recording your mic too, and then just clap. Just clap a couple of times, clap once or twice, whatever it be, right at the start, just clap. Um, that way you can go ahead, you can go into your editing software, see where you clapped, and then it'll be pretty easy to line up all that. Uh, now the only thing though is like in terms of the gameplay that I record with OBS, um, I don't want, like I want to record the game audio. So what I do is I record my, my mic in the beginning ju just for the claps, and then after, after I'm done clapping, then I'll mute my mic in the gameplay recording and I will record the game audio uh, like while I'm still recording I'll just switch them real quick so it's um it, it works it works I'd recommend it there's probably a better way to do it to be honest there's probably some better way but uh, yeah Dylan said go raid Ryan but Ryan's not real so I came here instead <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh my god vamp vamp we have a freaking rebel in this chat we have a damn rebel in this chat. Hey, let me, let me, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm going to go ahead. Let me pull up Ryan's stream real quick. What is he even doing? What is he even doing? He has 150 people watching him. Yo, shout out to Ryan, man. Shout out to this boy. Hang on. Okay. So... Okay. Okay. His stream is popping. What we're going to do... What we're gonna do now, 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 stick with me here. All right, we have a plan. <laughs> we have a plan. What we're gonna do is we're gonna call this man. Let me go ahead and call him, and we're gonna all wish him a happy birthday. All right, just because I feel like it's fitting. I don't, I don't know if he's gonna be wrapped up before we are, so I don't think we're gonna get the chance to have him in the chat to sing him happy birthday. So I'm gonna sing him happy birthday over the phone on his stream. I feel like that'll be smart. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Hi, Key. Uh, want one of his party hats? Dude, honestly, same. Honestly, same. All right, here's, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to turn up Google Home, and instead of, like, me wishing him happy birthday, I'm just going to have Google Home do it. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Where's Ryan? Where's Ryan's contact? Let me, let, me, let me go full screen for this. Wow. Okay, Ryan. Here we go. Hey Google, sing happy birthday. Happy birthday. Wait, shit. He didn't answer yet. Oh, a bitch boy. Hey Google, sing happy birthday. Wow. Happy this is so birthday unexpected. To you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Woo! I love you too, dude. Merry Christmas. Yo, ah! yo, yo, what's up, everybody in Asteroid Street right now? Yo, you want to say hi to my stream too? Because apparently we both like to call each other whenever we're both streaming. Yeah, no, I, I knew you were streaming. I wanted to just drop in and say hi. Uh, Everybody, I just want to see Ryan's chat just get filled with balloons right now. Balloons, cakes, whatever, pizzas, whatever, whatever's oh, birthday related. Oh, you got this. Yeah, yeah, just. Sean, thank you so much for the $8 donation. He just goes, happy birthday. Yo. Oh, <laughs> hey Google, sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Woo! He just donated $2. He just goes, Frank, why tell Frank I love him? Yo, yo, play happy birthday again. We just got a donation. Hey Google, sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy 
<laughs> the amazing person in the universe, man, the most amazing. The most amazing person in the universe. Google said it herself. Anyways. Oh, dude, and, I mean, Google never lies. Yeah, Google Google is pure facts. Um no! Mythical just became a sponsor on the channel. Like, what do we do when we get a sponsor? Uh Hey Google, sing Patty Cake. Patty Cake was recorded by Dirt. That's not what I wanted, but okay. Um, yo, thank you for coming out. You guys, um, uh, happy birthday. That's, that's been the birthday message. You, you guys, thank you. uh, uh, buy my merch, astromerch.shop. Bye. <laughs> thank you. you. Guys, uh, uh, buy my merch, astromerch.shop. Bye. God. <laughs> All right. All right. Plug in. There we go. That was, All right. who just called me. That oh, why, why is it? Why is it? Come on. Stop being dumb. There we go. All right. We're going to continue hunting. You guys ready for that? Sorry. 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 We totally, like, disbanded there for a second. But I feel like it was warranted. We had to wish this man a happy birthday. All right. We had to do it on stream. I feel like that was probably the best way to do it. Because, I mean, we could have waited. We could have done... Well, we'll probably still raid him if we end up um, ending off before he does. But, 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 but. Uh, I feel like that was just the best way to do it, you know? What's that black figure on the wall? Black figure on the wall? Black figure on the wall. Black figure on the wall? Wait. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Wh which black figure? I mean, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, there's, I, I don't see a black figure. I mean, I, um, I can, I can, I can hope there's not a black figure. That doesn't sound like a good black figure. I don't know. I mean, may maybe the black figure is good. I don't know. But this is the only safe time to disband. Yes. Yes, any other time is a safety hazard for the work environment. Which, uh, by the way, I have, I've been watching way too much Office. Way too much of The Office. Way, way, way too much. I, um, I just, I, in case you guys didn't know, I'm watching it for my first time on, like, season three, halfway through season three. It's nuts. It's absolutely nuts. Speaking of nuts, uh, Meltan just showed up on my timeline. Not Meltan. What's Meltan? What's the evolution? Mel, Mel Metal? Yo, I think this thing is awesome, though. High key. Like, Melton, I was kind of like, eh, about. But I'm really glad they gave him an evolution. It looks pretty cool. Anyways, thank you for the sub, Drew Night Nitro. Thank you so much, my boy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the Lapras Legion. The spider behind you is muted. Ah, ha, ha. Ah, ha, funny. Funny. Yo, spider? Nah. Nah. I don't buy it for a sec. I don't buy it for a sec. You know, one day there actually is going to be a spider, though. And I'm not going to believe it. And I'm going to flip shit when I find out there is actually a spider. Anyways, Ryan's a 19-year-old jolly good boy. He is, man. He's he's a good boy. He's a good boy. There's a spooky boy behind you. Could you imagine if I turned around and it was like the the Dillsbury Bill? Was it Pillsbury Doughboy? Could you imagine? I think I'd cry. I'd probably cry. Gidjock went up. Want to stay, but gonna leave by. All right, Taylor Vamp. Have a great night, man. Thank you so much for stopping by. Actually, peep the verses episode that I, maybe it dropped or maybe it. Is it about to drop? I don't know. Versus is going up sometime today, right? And if you guys get the chance, I highly recommend you guys go check it out because I'm pretty sure I made a cameo. And by and by saying that, you might be thinking, Ashley, how do you how do you not know if you made a cameo or not? Well, Vinny told me to um to to send him to send him a cameo. Just literally, he wanted me to make a video of anything. Like he literally just wanted me to say something to a camera. He literally gave me no instructions. He was just like, "Yo, we need it for Versus. Just say something." And um. And uh, me and Ryan did something actually really, really funny, and I'm really proud of it, and I'm super excited to see it. So, look out for Versus. If, if, um, wait, wait, 3-Way Versus? No, 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 not 3-Way. Uh, um, the Versus between Vinny and Dops. Um, you know, 3-Way isn't going to drop till next week. That's the goal. That's the, that's the objective at the very least. We were hoping, aiming for Monday, uh, but we didn't get the chance to record today because Dylan wasn't feeling all that, so we'll probably record, like, Sunday, and then if we can get it up Monday, it'll be, it'll be a little bit of a stretch. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, no, new, next season of 3-Way is coming out, like, very, very soon, like, next week soon, and then we got Soul Link up on the rise, uh, we got a new solo project up in the air, so it's, we got a lot of stuff coming up, got a lot of, st a lot of great stuff coming up, and I'm really excited about it, already watched it, it was the best cameo, oh, wait, is it up? Is it actually up? Okay, oh, it dropped two hours ago? Okay, okay, hold up, we gotta watch it right now, then, we gotta watch it right now, then, just because of the fact that, um, that uh, I I didn't I didn't get to see it like I have no idea what the context was, and I've been waiting all day. Actually, Vinny's channel's right here. I don't know what I'm doing. Josh with the sub, thank you so much, my boy. Okay, 
Fool, I'm going to win. Oh, goodness. Oh, wait, I already watched. Or no, this is a day old. Maybe it was on Dobbs' channel. Oh, it must have been on Dobbs' channel. Okay. All right. Hold up. We got to go ahead and watch it. Just because of the fact that I, I don't know. I don't know what they did with it. Oh, goodness. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Shout out to Vinny and Dobbs, by the way. They they freaking kill it. They're great. We should gather, like, a bunch of people, right? Mm -hmm. Random people, right? And put them in a house. And then <laughs> see how they interact for, like, a month. I'm just, I'm really, I, you know, I gotta, I gotta be honest with you, man. Like, sometimes you say shit, and I'm like, yeah, like, I would think a random thing like that, too. Like, sometimes you say random shit that's, like, alarming. You want to all of in the middle of a Pokemon versus extreme recording. Conduct a science experiment in which you take people and just put them in a house and watch how they behave with each other. Dude, Kath is such a good editor. Weird, and we're gonna call it the real world. <laughs> is it gonna air on MTV? Wait, wait, where's the cameo, though? Oh, I thought it was an intro moment. Shoot, now I gotta skim through and find this. Shucks. Shucks. Where's this cameo? It shouldn't be too hard to spot. Oh, oh? Oh, Kath stepped in. Oh, shoot. Oh, there we are. There we are. Damn it. Okay. Yeah. Call back to the man who. Well, I was gonna say the man who started it all, but technically Asteroid started it all. You were talking about Asteroid man? 2 timestamp Asteroid. What is up, guys? My name <laughs> is Asteroid. You're and welcome <laughs> to the cameo. <laughs> this is not right. Dude, Kath is brilliant. Doing the voice for Frank, I mean, Asteroid Mania videos. <laughs> but welcome to today's versus episode. With that being said, I hope you all enjoy it. <laughs> and Kat, play the music. How are we going to get all these people to get in this video? That's what Dude, I'm wait, wait. Was Dylan in it too? Fuck. Wait, hold up. Dylan was in this? What was, What is this video? The one with the cameos. Gosh, dude. What did Dylan say? Dylan was in the call and we were recording that. All right, so it's three in the morning right now and I'm not even wearing a watch. I'm so freaking delirious right now. <laughs> but that is not going to stop me from saying hello to all of you amazing people. It's been a while. I hope all of you have been enjoying the verses so far. Kath has been killing these intro moments. But honestly. It's nice to come back and say hello honestly, to all of you. And I'm honestly. supposed to do a cameo. Vinny didn't really tell me on what I'm supposed to do. So hope you guys have a great verses episode. <laughs> I am going to go knock out. <laughs> oh, what? You know, uh, one of my favorite things about Kath's editing, just to totally sidetrack here, right? I'm just, I'm but, um, Pokemon versus but, uh, what is it? What is it? Let me give you guys an example. Shoot. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Right, right there. No, shoot. Come back, Dobbs. Right, right there. She changes the, um, the expressions. Like, the original artwork was not like that at all. But she she alters the expressions and it's it's really impressive. Like it's one of those things that you wouldn't think to do, but Kath is like able to pull it off really well. So, anyways, 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 anyways. Um, you know, I wanted to see that because I was super interested. Literally, Vinny just hit me up and he was like, "Yo, do record a video of yourself like for a cameo of the verses." And I was just like, "Okay." And then Ryan was in the call and uh, we came up with the idea of him just voicing over me. Um, so yeah, it worked out pretty great. It worked out pretty great. Yeah, I tried, uh, on your How I Make My Videos video, you never explained how to do those lit intros. Yeah, no, the intros is a, it's a whole other ballpark. Whole other ballpark. I didn't get the chance to get to it in those, uh, in that video. But, but I do want to make another one that's animation focused. Um, but it, it would be a huge project, so I'm not, like, entirely sure when or, like, w when I'll be able to go ahead and do that. Um, but what I'll probably do is I could go ahead and do some live streams. Like I do want to go ahead and cause I have so many intro commissions to work on. I wouldn't be against, um, live streaming some of them that way. Like I can live stream and just hang out with you guys. And then also you guys can get a little behind the scenes look about how I make them. And I could go, I can go through like, as I'm making it, I can go step by step and try and show you guys what I'm doing. Um, if you guys would be interested in that, cause, uh, doing a live stream would be so much easier than putting together a huge hour long video, uh, on how to do it. And also when it comes to intros and stuff, like I... I, um, I, I feel like, like, I, I'm proud of my intros, my animated ones. I'm really proud of them. I think they're great. Um, but, but I don't really know what I'm doing. You know, like when I go to make an intro, when I'm making an intro in After Effects, uh, a lot of the times it's me just messing around. Like I'm just experimenting, see what works, see what doesn't work. So because of that, I feel like I'm not really the best teacher for it. You know, like ed editing, I can kind of explain what I'm doing and I kind of know what I'm doing just cause like I've done it for so long. Uh, but with intros, it's more like, it's more like, okay, uh, how can I make this look good? I'm just going to click a bunch of buttons until it works. Like that, that, that's basically what it is. I don't, I don't know. I don't know a lot about After Effects. Like I can't really explain, 
uh, a lot of the stuff that I do because a lot of the stuff that I do is just totally experimental. Um, wait, After Effects, when did you leave Hit Film? Oh, I, I haven't used Hit Film since like December of last year. Uh, it's literally been like a full year that I've used Premiere and After Effects. Um, but you know, I, I switched over because uh, I wanted to get, wanted to get an upgrade. I wanted better render times, and uh, Premiere just offered a lot more features. And and so yeah, now I edit in Premiere and I use After Effects for all my animations, and uh, it works pretty well. It works pretty well. Obviously, Hit Film still works fantastically. And if you guys are looking for a free option, I highly recommend Hit Film for intro making and uh, and editing. I used Hit Film for like close to two years. And, um, and it's, it's great. It's fantastic. It's where it works really, really well, especially for a free option. It is the best free editor and it's like, even though it's free, it's still a fantastic editor. Um, so I'd highly recommend it highly, highly, highly. But if you can afford going into premiere, if you can afford the Adobe suite, uh, then I would recommend that as well. Uh, but I would only go up to premiere if you're more serious about it. You know, if, if you truly need, those new features and those those per, those pro level features. Um, if you don't, then you could probably just rock out with HitFilm and be fine. And the good thing about HitFilm is that it's it's pretty similar to Premiere uh, and After Effects and stuff like that. So if you do start with HitFilm and you get really good at it, then it's, then say like one day you want to transition over to Premiere, then you can. Like it's not a hard transition to make, um, just because like a lot of it is laid out the same. You know, like uh, like when I switched over from HitFilm to Premiere. Um, obviously I had to learn like new shortcuts and I had to learn like, uh, like some of the smaller things about Premiere, but, um, but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, but moving over was much easier after getting used to hit film because they're pretty similar. Um, so yeah, I actually watched the clip and I don't know if it was the dub or the hand movements, but you channeled your inner Sakurai. <laughs> 100%. 100% dude. It was like some of it was good, right? And then other other part points were awful because I didn't I didn't know what Ryan, like we were in a call. We were in a call. I had no idea what Ryan was going to say next. So I had to totally just predict what he was going to say and like try and match up my lips. I mean, it was supposed to be purposely bad though. Um so yeah, I can just say hi and then leave for sleep. Yo Emperor Leon, thank you for stopping by. Really fun to appreciate it. Have a fantastic sleep. Have a fantastic sleep, my boy. Uh, Jet said, how are you, Frank? I'm doing great, man. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, no, I'm having a great day. It's been a very productive day. I uh, went to school, got home, set up my new camera, and now we're rocking out with a live stream. It's great. It's fantastic. Back, and when's the next stream, and what is it? The next stream, uh, well, the next stream that you should check out, maybe maybe not my stream specifically, but Ryan's sleep block. He's doing a big old sleep block tomorrow. Look out for that. I'm going to be there. Vinny's going to be there. Dylan's going to be there. It's going to be nuts. Uh, we're going to be live all day with Ryan. But uh, in terms of my streams specifically, I might try and stream on Sunday. If not, then we'll definitely be live again on Monday. And then in terms of like what we're going to be streaming, I don't really know yet. Uh, and then Tuesday, we should be back with some more Mystery Dungeon. So look out for that. Uh, and then we'll probably try and do some stuff on Twitch pretty soon here. Um, like we did a Twitch stream the other day and that was a ton of fun. So if you guys want to follow us on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Astro Mania videos. I'm trying to branch out. I'm trying not to put all my eggs in YouTube just because of how, uh, how unreliable YouTube has been lately. So I'm trying to kind of branch out, you know, see what I got to do, explore my other options. And, uh, and Twitch is one of those options. So I'm trying to do the best I can over there. I think I may find my shiny Lottie at the same time you find your hoot ball. Yo, honestly, I mean, I'm, I, I don't, I don't think I'm ever finding hoot ball. So... We're probably going to be in this for the long haul, but, uh, but yeah, no, I mean, I'm excited. I hope I get hoop ball today. Like I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic. It's probably the best way I can go ahead and describe it. Um, like I feel like there's a chance we could do it, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Let's see what happens. Jet said you a smooth banana. Hell yeah. Oh wait, hang on. Let me, let me, let me, uh, let me move this boy over. Yeah, no, honestly, I'm so happy with this new camera. Like it just looks so nice, man. It just looks so nice. Because uh, if you notice on my webcam, like, there would always be a lot of grain down here. And the background would always be fuzzy. But not, like, a good fuzzy. Like, this is a good fuzzy. This is, like, a bokeh blur, right? But uh, in the other webcam, it was just not detailed. There's a big difference. Um, but, yeah, it's just nice. I'm really, I'm really happy about it. Obviously, I still have some tweaking to do. I'm still got to fine-tune some things. But, uh, but yeah, and it's also a lot smoother. Like, we're actually... We actually have a, fa a face cam that's 60 FPS. Um, the other... 
the other the logitech brio it did do 1080p 60 fps but i never streamed at 1080p with it just because of the fact or i never used it at 1080p just because of the fact that it looked like garbage so what i would do is i would set it up to 4k and then downscale it but then the frame rate would still be slow so it's like you know uh, you know, you, you know, what would be awesome? Like a way to automatically jump into call with you guys during a stream. It'd be cool. Just like a way for people to hop in. That'd be, that'd be kind of cool. That'd be kind of cool. Maybe like if we, maybe if we like, like set a time limit and like rotated people in. Cause the problem is right. The problem with, um, the problem with streaming and like having a huge discord call is it's really hard to like, to like focus on the stream it's really hard to stream and have like a conversation with 20 different people like it's really really tough so i think it'd be cool if we had like one or two people like kind of cycling through maybe like every five minutes like a new uh squad got cycled in that'd be cool it could probably get hectic yeah i mean having a big call would definitely get hectic but if we had like a cycle that'd be pretty nice like maybe we could do like a q a thing where uh where we have like two people come in and then like they just kind of whoosh they could like rotate in that'd be cool That'd be cool. Hey, Ashley, what is your GPU? I know I can find your piece of this on Twitch, but I'm kind of lazy right now. LOL. Yo, I don't even, I don't even blame you. I don't even blame you. It's actually right there's the box. It's a GTX 1080 Ti. Um, I think it's 11 gigabytes of VRAM. It's a, it's a pretty solid card. I mean, it's it was the top of the line card from last generation. Um, so it's really solid. It's it's never failed me. Uh, and then again, like I'm not the biggest like PC gamer, so I I don't even I don't even I don't even really push it to its limits. Like it, it's it's definitely overkill for what I do, um, because I mean I don't, I don't play a lot of intensive games. Like the most intensive game that I play is I have like VR stuff, um, which even even then it's a little overkill. But uh, it's really nice for like rendering and stuff because Premiere takes advantage of the GPU. So uh, for like rendering and stuff, it speeds that up. And then for like live streaming and recording and stuff, like what I'll do is is I'll Excuse me, I stream with my CPU, the CPU encoder, but then I'll record with the GPU. Um, so it's good for that. But but yeah, it's a really nice card if you if you can afford it. I I don't know how expensive they are now, but I know with like Bitcoin mining and stuff, they they got up there. Like they it literally got to the point to where they doubled in price. It was ridiculous. Um so I don't know how costly they are now, but uh, it, it might be worth it depending on depending on um, what you're trying to go for. And I think, I think especially now with the new, like they just came out with new GPUs, uh, NVIDIA did. So they probably went down in price if you wanted to scoop it up. Uh, what's weird is that I find my shines late at night or early in the morning. That is weird. That is weird. I, uh, I never find mine. So pretty weird. Pretty, <laughs> pretty weird. <laughs> yeah. Going back to the office. I, I've just been obsessing over the office lately. Um, but going back to the office, my favorite character is Jim. I've decided Jim is my favorite character and not going to spoil anything. I know the show is like a billion years old at this point. I know basically everybody's seen it, um, but I, I hadn't have seen it. Right? I hadn't seen it up until like a few weeks ago, so I don't want to spoil it, spoil it for anyone else who was in that boat. Um, but I love the dry sense of humor and I realized that Jim does the exact same shit that I do. Like he throughout the entire show, he'll, he'll look at the camera and he'll just go like, like he does like the that that face and i've literally no joke i do that face all the time no joke i do that face all the time and i had no idea i had no idea um i was i was parodying jim from the office the whole time um and i do it irl too like i'll just i'll be like i do it all the time literally all the time yeah 1080 ti is the dream right now i'm just looking at the 1070 because 1080 ti is out of price range yeah 100 percent, 100 percent. the 1070 is really solid too um, I mean, it also depends, obviously, what you're trying to do, but the 1070 should be able to more than handle, um, one handle basically any game you throw at it, for the most part. Gotta go, I'll be at the next stream, I think Ryan is not real. I, I agree. Or, er, next stream, I think, and Ryan is not real. Oh yeah, no, Ryan is definitely not real, but Jake the Cake, thank you for stopping by, man. Have a great night. Have a great night. Jim plus Asteroid, Jim Stroyd, you'll bet. You'll bet. I'm with Dylan on this one. Dwight and Creed are fantastic. You see, I, I like Dwight. Dwight's great, right? But I really, I really don't see the appeal of Creed. I don't like Creed, to be totally honest. Like I, I just, we're talking about the old guy, right? I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't like him. I mean, maybe it's because I haven't seen much of him. I feel like he doesn't get a lot of screen time. Like we, um, I'm, I'm, on, I'm halfway through season three right now, and I know there's a lot more episodes to go. So I know, like I'm, uh, 
I know, I know Creed isn't exactly like, like I haven't gotten the most time with him, but Greed gets so, or Creed gets so good, it's in later seasons, yeah, that makes sense, that makes sense, like as of right now, I'm kind of iffy about him, um, I'm assuming he got better though, that Creed gets funnier, yeah, that makes sense, that makes sense, because I'm not that far, I think there's like 10 seasons, so in the grand scheme of things, I'm not even halfway through, um, so yeah, have you watched the 70s show? Because I love that show. It was so funny. I don't think I did. I don't think I did. If it's from 1970, I definitely did not. Uh, <laughs> I was born in 2001. So, yeah. <laughs> anyways. Um, anyways, 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 anyways. Also, I know this is kind of late, but maybe you could do something for the co-op where you have a segment with just fans or just like really new or not super popular YouTubers. Yo, that's actually on the list. That's on the list. We had talked about having a segment where uh we showcase like someone else's video or uh or, or just like shout out somebody like we, we've thought about doing that 100 percent 100 percent 100 percent 100 percent uh the only problem with that is like is like um i don't know what my my throat's doing today but the only problem with that is like trying to uh like if we were to showcase um like other people's videos I feel like that would get a little bit messy just because like a lot of obviously people in the Pokemon community have 30 plus minute videos and we don't want to dedicate like a fourth of our of the live stream to you know we don't want to dedicate a fourth of the live stream to someone else's content um, because like not only is does that kind of feel cheap but it's also like I don't know it's also like just like us just ending it off at the hour and 30 minute mark we could just go leave and just have this video play like you know it's not really our live stream anymore so so, so what we'll probably do is um, we'll maybe just do shout outs or uh, maybe we'll show like, like may maybe, maybe we can have people like send in trailers for their channel. Like maybe some people could, uh, could like send in like a minute, a minute of just like their best moments. And then we could just take a look at it and, and promote them. I mean, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. I mean, I, I don't know. There's a bunch of different ways we can go about it. Um, I looked into shiny rates and average shiny rate is one in 1,654 with six and 4,096 Rollet and literally at one in 12,280. Yeah, the odds are kind of stacked against us, but you know what? I, I have faith, man. I have faith. We can do this. We got this. Could you be the mod squad real quick? I posted an idea. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Wow, wow, wow. Actually, I expressed the idea of a call where people can go during streams to chat with them. I think I could set it up if we made a waiting room call, then I could filter people in and out. Any members could get priority. That'd be really cool. That would be really cool, Red Wing. Um, yeah, I mean, if you'd be willing to do that, if you'd be willing to be the one who, like, rotates people in and out, um, that'd be awesome. I mean, the only problem, like, the only the only thing that would kind of suck about that is, like, is, like, we'd only have to give, we'd only be able to, like, have like five minute conversations we'd have to make it like really quick just lightning round you know um and i feel like that'd be kind of tough because like people like we're, we're gonna obviously like if we get invested into a conversation we're gonna want to keep going um so i feel like that'd be kind of rough but uh, it's a cool idea it's a good it's a cool concept maybe it'd work out i don't know have you played the do my hero game i have not i have not but i'm definitely interested 100 percent 100 i love my hero literally everything about it the show the movie was fantastic it's just a great Todoroki's my husband it's fantastic uh what was the shortest shiny hunt you've had mine was three days but struggled itself to death the shortest hunt you've had I actually don't know I actually don't know it was definitely one of my old ones um mm, I don't know I don't know I, I feel like I've gotten a shiny like 50 encounters probably probably that's probably like one of my lowest to be honest somewhere around there um I would say Raul is definitely my longest one just cause like we've been here for months. I think I literally, I think I literally started hunting Rowlet at the beginning of this year. We've been hunting Rowlet all year. Like <laughs> literally, literally we've been hunting this damn boy the whole year. It never stopped, never stopped. So I don't know. All right, Ashton, I'm gonna go record something and hope to, to hope to be as good as you. Yo, you got this. You got this. You got this, man. Thank you for stopping by. Have a great night, dude. Have a great night. Good luck with your recording. Have you heard that uh, My Academia is getting a live action movie? I'm a little pissed. Yeah, I actually, I didn't see that. I did see that. I heard about it. Um, I'm excited. I mean, it's probably going to be garbage, but I'm, I'm going to watch it and I'm going to try and be entertained. Yo, Eternal, how you doing, my boy? Welcome to the stream. This is what's good, everyone. Oh, you know. Um, shoot, I was going to be like, 
<laughs> I was gonna be like, oh yeah, the sky, the clouds, but you said what's good, not what's up. Damn it. Shucks. All right. But yo, thank you for coming out, man. I appreciate it. Why'd you find it on New Year's, dude? That'd be not. What if we find it on the one year anniversary of um, of this damn hunt? How how nuts would that be? How nuts would that be? Actually, how long? I'm gonna figure this out. How long have we been hunting this damn thing? Hang on. Oof, that's my dashboard. You guys don't want to see that. Um. Yeah, let me let me go ahead and see exactly how long we've been hunting it because, dude, like I, it's it's kind of ridiculous, just a little bit ridiculous. Let me go back. I think we just got. I think we just got to scroll. Yeah, we're just scrolling. We're just scrolling. We should be able to get to the beginning of this year, um, and not too much time. Uh, eight months. This one was eight months ago. Is there one before that? Yeah, nine months ago. Damn, dude. When did we actually start this? Oh wait, the hunt for Sunday, the first stream of 2018. Okay, part two. Oh, there was a part one. Where's part one? Oh, right here, right here, dude. It started all the way. This is before I got the new art. This is yo, yo. This Rowlet. This that is the only Pokemon Rowlet. That man over there. That is the only Pokemon we have hunted on this layout. That is nuts. That is nuts. We started hunting this guy. Before I got the new art. That was December 8th. December 8th. 2017. We have been going for this boy. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Look at this. That is December 8th. That is December 8th. We've been hunt. Wow. It's literally almost been a year. We've been hunting. I hate this. I actually. Let's get this damn shiny. It's been way too long. Um, it feels like you need to sign up a, a sign up list line up for X. X for a night, say six and I find a 10 minutes combos. And if you are uh, streamers interested and you can contact us, otherwise it's fair that Red Wing. Yeah, honestly, I was thinking maybe having like a, like a Google form, um, just like get people interested in, in what, what people want to do. Bet. Yeah. No, literally December 8th, 2017, we went live with the first, the first, <laughs> whatever, whatever. Wait, this is, this is the only Pokemon we've hunted in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Because it says, our first Ultra Sun Ultra Moon hunt. God, man. We've literally been going for this thing ever since Ultra Sun Ultra Moon came out. This was, this is my first and, like, last hunt in Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. I've never come back to this game. God, man. It's December, but come the anniversary for Astro, it, it'll be December because of death, Rowlet hunting. Honestly, if we don't get this before December 8th, 2018, I will cry real legitimate tears. Real legitimate tears. That's dedication. Honestly, yeah. I mean, the thing about it though is we haven't, we haven't, we haven't been like religiously doing it. Like, it's not like this is a consistent shiny hunting series. Um, like, I, as I said, I think we literally probably on average did it like once every two weeks. So it's not the most uh, consistent thing in the world. That's probably why we haven't gotten it yet. Uh, but also, we're just unlucky. So yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I'm excited, man. I'm, I'm just, I'm optimistic optimistic and excited and hopeful and i really like this camera it's nice i i like it i i'm just nerding out over this camera it looks it looks really good i like it i like it. it's just the detail man it's such a step up such a such a step up anyways oh consistent what does that mean <laughs> why <laughs> hell if i know anyways um huh let me stop reset again um yeah you ever finish your Marvel movie marathon? Yeah, actually, we um, we wrapped it up with Infinity War. Um, well, actually, technically, we didn't finish it because I never saw Age of Ultron. We some we somehow in our in our extensive planning we skipped over Age of Ultron. So I've still never seen that movie. But uh, and we did we didn't realize it till after we saw Infinity War. We were like we were like wait did we watch Ultron? And then we didn't. So we watched every single one but Ultron. Uh, and it was good. It was it was solid. Why can't that Rowlet be blue? I don't know, but it's stupid. It's stupid. Just Rowlet, just be be a blue, be a green, be you. All right, redfish, bluefish, hootfish, Rowlet, be shiny. Thank you. If it works, if this works out, I'll literally be able to say it helps come up with a cool streaming concept. Yeah, honestly, man. Thank you for your suggestion. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I love hearing you guys' feedback because. Um, obviously you guys are the ones watching the content, so it makes sense that, like, we would want to gauge your opinions, you know? You know, you know, you know? Anyways. 
Owliver shows up Ryan's shows up for Ryan's birthday, won't you? Yeah, come on. It's Ryan's birthday. Let's just let's just get it, man. Let's just let let's let's get this bread. I mean hoot hoot. Let's just uh, hoot not uh, hoot hoot. Whatever. Hoot ball. Let's do it. Patiently waits for Astro to get Twitch affiliate. We're almost there. We're almost there. Uh, but we're kinda not almost there because I had to I had to restart because the, the month rolled over and um and you gotta have like eight separate streams or I think it's eight hours and like seven different streams i'm not too sure yeah you have to stream a certain amount of times but it's in a, it's in a month period so because the previous month rolled around we lost all that time and now we gotta like get back on our grind uh we'll probably do a twitch stream this weekend though that'll probably be the goal uh and i'm gonna start doing them um, basically my goal is to do them every single time we have a video up on the channel so like if we have a video up on the channel that day then instead of going live on youtube i'll go live on twitch um, and then if we don't have a video that day, then I'll go live on YouTube. So that way we have content every single day on YouTube in one way or another. Um, and then Twitch just kind of becomes like an extra live stream on top of the video that already went up, you know? LMA, I'll pick this stream over Ryan's. Yo, Mason, you freaking legend. I don't know why you would though. I mean, literally, uh, I'm not trying to like shit on my own stream, but like, dude, Ryan, it's Ryan's birthday. It's flipping hype. We're definitely going to be raiding him though, 100% after this. So look out for that. Hello, Ashard, you are the best Poke or best YouTuber. Oh, Deep Blue, thank you so much. Thank you so much, man. You're freaking awesome. I appreciate it. Please let this one not be shiny. No, we want it to be shiny. Jet. Jet. You you misspelled want to be shiny. Come on, man. Come on, man. We're trying to we're trying to do this. We gotta work as a team. We gotta get this shiny bread. Alright? I'm excited. Oh crap, it's his birthday? Yeah, no, it's literally his birthday. It's literally this man's birthday. He's doing a bending the ink machine. Come on. <sighs> Man, I just, I just, I want him so bad. Like, it's literally almost been a year. It's Ryan's birthday. Just give me the damn shiny. Come on. Just let me put this thing to bed so we can hunt something else, please. Are we going to start yelling sports again? We could. We could. That might, that might do the trick. That, uh, that might, that might do the trick. Might have to go ahead and do that. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. All right, here we go. We got golf. We got basketball. We got sports, we got nets, we got hoops, we got hoot balls, we got basketballs, I think I already said that, we got sp footballs, we got soccer, we got hockey, we got golf, we got bowling, we got competitive uno, we got esports, lol, league of legends, overwatch, hoot, ball, field, goal, par, touchdown, please, Give me the shiny, man. That's all I want. Wrestling. We have swimming. We have competitive sorry. We have cricket. We have bags. We have cycling. We have um, eating competitions. We have um, taekwondo, judo, cricket. I, I don't know what else. I don't know. I, we started saying sports too early and we ran out of them too fast. Oh, no. oh yeah, we sports, we sports bowling, we sports fencing, we sports what else is in we sports? Swimming, I I don't know, man. Badminton, Pokemon Online, Wi-Fi battles, competitive Monopoly, long jump, archery, hoot ball, please. Magic, sh competitive magic shows. You're a wizard, right? Uh, magician, wizard, same thing. <laughs> Please, please, just just be shiny, man. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. Mario Kart, Water Boring, Wii Sports Resort. Whoo! Who would win a hot dog eating contest? You or Ryan? Probably Ryan. Probably Ryan. I I would not do well in, e in an eating contest. Uh, all right, come on. Connect Sports, uh, Water Polo, Competitive Losing Every Soul Link. Thanks. Competitive Winning Every Soul Link. <laughs> You can just put competitive in front of anything. Competitive breathing. Competitive typing. Competitive yeet ball. It's like skeet ball, but with a little more yeet. Sports ball. Water polo. Swimming lessons. Not swimming, no. Swimming lessons. Competitive swimming lessons. Gosh, man. Please. Please. Hockey. Damn it. Damn it. What did I walk into? We're trying to summon a shiny. It's not... Can you, can you tell it's not working? Can you can you tell? Can you tell? Yeah. Yeah. Committed doing the team recap in the elevator. 
competitive recording a video. Gosh, man. I don't know. I, I, we tried the sports thing like hardcore in that one stream, but I feel like it I feel like it backfired almost. Do a type racer stream. Wait, type racer? Uh, yo, Sefi's Paradise. Thank you so much for the... Is that like a... Is that like a... Is that like a, a typing? Wait, 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 is that a typing thing? Because, yo, I love typing. High key? Type racer. The global typing competition? Wait, what? What? Yo, bet! Yo, bet! Wait, hold up. Shiny hunting's gonna have to wait. Hang on. Hang on, I love typing. <laughs> hold up, we gotta do one of these. We gotta do one of these. Type the text above here when the race begins. Oh, shoot. Oh, we're going in. Yo, okay, and I'm under a lot of pressure. I... <sighs> okay, here we go. I like to think I'm good at typing. Damn, I'm already screwing up. Ah, uh, I never knew this site existed, but I'm extremely happy. Uh, I'm under a lot of pressure. Um, am I winning? <laughs> Am I winning? Yo, did I win? Woo! Let's go! Let's go! 91 words per minute! Fuck yeah! Alright, alright. We're back with more shiny hunting. <laughs> back to your regularly scheduled program. Oh, goodness. Honestly, that that's cool. That's cool. That's that's really cool. I didn't know something, something like that existed. But, um, shout out to my boy Oscar for getting second place. And then you have guest uh, Omar. Nice. That's cool. That's a that's 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 a cool website idea. I, I don't know why I've never heard of that before. Thank you so much for informing me about that though. Anyways, I want to donate, but not in my region. Yo, deep blue. That's totally fine, man. Honestly, literally just coming out of the stream, hanging out, and talking in the chat is more than enough. Um, is this good? Oh no, Robin, what'd you do? What'd you do? What is this? Stream bros work in progress. Oh, okay. Hold up. If you get chosen, they'll DM me for a vetting process and all the scary just to make sure you don't go. Too well on the call once around. You have five minutes. Is really up to asteroid. Well, what do you mean by vetting process? I mean, I mean, is that that might be a little tough. That might that might be a little little bit tough. I don't think we have to like like vet people, quote unquote. But uh, we can get a list, like a list of people who would be interested, and then like if you guys don't fill out that form and, and submit it, uh, we can get people who would be interested, and then just like um. Like we could just we could just rotate people in, you know? Or like what we could do is we could go into a server chat. Um, like we go on the server and just sit in a voice chat and then just Red Wing said he could move we could move you guys. So like you could just have a timer for five minutes, just throw people in. Uh you could like ask a question, do whatever, uh be on stream, hang out for the five minutes, and then we could like rotate. Um I mean I, I don't I, I don't really know how well that would go in practice, to be honest. It sounds good on paper. Like it sounds it sounds fun to be able to just like get to get to talk to you guys real quick like one-on-one -on -one, just like you know I, it would obviously have to be fast-paced but i think it'd be good i think it'd be cool competitive bathroom breaks yeah bow, bow, bow. i want to shiny hunt uh to for for a bit i'm assuming is what you meant uh i can't but i can't or no no i want to shiny hunt too but i can't find my games for my ds i'm sorry man that's rough that's rough yeah they are really easy to lose like i I've, I've lost so many uh, so many DS games in my time, like, it's a little bit ridiculous. A little bit ridiculous. I mean, it's super easy. Uh, what are you gonna dress up for as Halloween? I'm pretty inspired by Jenna Marble's toothbrush costume. Oh, dude, I saw that video. That's so funny. That's so funny. I wanted to do a T-Rex. I wanted to do, like, one of those inflatable T-Rexes. That's what I really wanted. Uh, but it's kind of getting late, and I don't think I'm gonna be able to get one shipped in time. So, I'm gonna go to Party City, and I'm gonna look and see if they have, like, some in the store. If not, then I'm going to figure out another costume. In terms of what that other costume is going to be, I don't know. But honestly, I it'd be funny to make my own. Because, like, I never make my own costumes. So it'd be cool to try and, like, make some something 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 unique that's, like, my own. You know? It'd also be cheaper, probably. Uh, Kahoot Streamer Riot. That's on the agenda. Honestly, all those, like, random ideas, like Kahoot and, um, and maybe, maybe, like, the whole cycling people in thing. That could be something for the co-op podcast. Um, like basically all those like random one-off ideas could all tie into the co-op podcast, which is why I highly recommend you guys check out the, the co-op podcast it's every single Wednesday on my channel. Ryan's involved. It's freaking great. We have a great time doing it. Um, so yeah, no, and thank you guys for supporting that series so far. That's genuine. It's genuinely been so much fun just hanging out with you guys and 
uh, being able to talk with you guys and just hang out, just have a podcast, man, it's cool. Uh, but literally, we could do whatever we want on that project. Like we're we're leaving it open to anything. So it's it's exciting. It's exciting. That's not shiny. Come on, come on, Riley. Don't be doing me like this. I'm telling you, try reverse psychology. Literally, always works for me. Just be like, just be like, I do not want the T Rex costume now, and then it just shows up, just in my lap, like pop right there. I'm just in the T Rex. I feel like the moment you click on Litten or Poplio, those will be shiny, but Rowlet will never become shiny. You'll bet. You'll bet. Let's click on Litten right now. Let's click. If it's shiny, I will shit my pants. Let's go. Let's look at it. Honestly? Honestly? I'm down. Let's get a shiny Litten. Fuck it. Fuck it. We already we already got Rowlet. We already tried. Like, I feel like at this point, if we're going to give up. Well, actually, no, I'm not giving up. I told myself I would not give up. But, you know what? Let's do it. Let's, let's, let's see if we get a Litten. I'm feeling Latin. What's the background music right now? It is... It is Jump Up Superstar. Uh, the instrumental from uh, VGR, also known as Video Game Remixes. I would highly, highly recommend his um, his stuff. He's incredible, man. He's incredible. He makes some fantastic stuff. I use this stuff all the time for intros and outros, and it's great. It's fantastic. Uh, can't give up on Hoop Ball. I'm not giving up. I'm just, uh, I'm just seeing if there's another shy hiding among us, you know? You know, I just gotta, I just gotta search through because I feel like, I feel like with with how much bad luck we've had with Rowlet, I think changing it and just doing Litten would probably give us the shiny. And if we do get a shiny Litten, then I'm 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 considering that like, what I, I don't know if I'd be able to consider that the end of the of the of the endeavor. I think I'd still have to get a Rowlet. That would suck. That would actually. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna check. I'm just gonna check and see if it's actually shiny because that'd be cool. If you get a shiny Poplio, name it Bush. That'd be funny. I just wanted to Ryan stream and heard him say Benny and the Ink Machine Nuzlocke. <laughs> God, what is this man planning? What is this man planning? I'm so excited for his sleep block tomorrow. It's going to be nuts. It's going to be nuts. How do you get a mod? I'm just curious. Uh, the way that I go about choosing mods is I usually look at people who are super like reoccurring viewers. I look at people uh, who have been with the channel for a little bit and, and people that I, I feel I can trust, you know? Uh, but usually I, I don't actually like, I'm not like looking for mods most of the time. Um, like as of right now, I'm not looking for, for any mods. Um, but when I am looking for them, I'll, I'll let you guys know. And, um, and, uh, odds are like the most reoccurring viewers or the, the people who I've seen a lot in chat and that I've been able to interact with the most, uh, they probably have the best chance of actually becoming a mod. Oh wait, that's not, no, 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 no. You're not shiny. We're going with the actual shiny, which happens to be the Litten. Let's go Litten. Let's go, man. Bow, 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 bow. Do you remember me on Battle Legends? Yeah, you sound familiar, man. I recognize your name. Um, at the very least, thank you so much for coming out, man. I appreciate it a lot. Really flipping do. Can't confirm he doesn't look for mods often. He has a lot already. Yeah, we do have a lot of mods. We do have a lot of mods. And also, like, you guys are just well-behaved. Like, like we, we very rarely have problems. Um, so I just, we don't really have the uh, the need. The need for, for a lot of mods. Anyways, I made some hoopla art on Twitter. Just tweeted at you. Yo, yo, bet. Yo, bet. Let's peep it. Let's peep it. Thank you so much for the art. Hoopla is the best sport, my dude. Yo, look at my boy. Look at my boy. Ah, that's adorable. That's adorable. Thank, thank you for the art, man. That's crazy. Thank you. Um, guys, act up so he starts looking for more mods. <laughs> just like, just like, oh, what did I hit? I hit a button that I wasn't supposed to hit. Just like, just slowly start becoming just spam ridden and ugh, it's not shiny. Um, just start spamming more and God, don't do that. Don't do that. Cause honestly, if you spam more than, ugh, I mean, you're that, if you were to spam more then you're not going to get mod, you know, it's kind of like it's a double edged sword. It's like, yeah, if you spam more then I'm going to need more mods, but if you're the one spamming, you're not getting the mod. So it's like the stream is luck for me because I just found all of my 3ds games. Yo, that's awesome, man. Congrats. Anyways, yeah, we'll try Poplio this time. I'm feeling Poplio. Litten was a uh, Litten was a mistake, is what Litten was. But we always have Poplio. We're gonna try Poplio this time. I feel like he's shiny. I'm I'm just getting that vibe. On YouTube, you can't spam because the six message limit. Six message limit. Is that really a thing? Like, if you send six mes messages, um, really? Is that actually a thing? Like six messages in a row? I actually, I actually had no idea. I thought that only applied to like slow mo. Um, my chat shouldn't be slow-mo. Shouldn't be. I'm gonna riot if Poplio's shiny. Honestly, me too. If Poplio's shiny, and we've been sitting here trying to get this Rollet for freaking ages, I'm gonna cry. 
I'm gonna cry. Yo, do Alex on the $2 super chat. Thank you so much, my boy. He said, so did you ever catch the shiny wishy-washy? I think I did. I think I did, maybe? Um, I mean, I must have for me to move on. Cause I, I think I told myself like I wasn't, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna uh, move on to the next shiny until I got the previous shiny. So I'm at six message. Wait, it will give you a five minute break after six messages. Oh, oh, is really? I had no idea. I had no idea. Only mods can ignore it. Sponsors ignore it as well. That's so weird. I had no. Is, is there a way to turn that off? Cause I mean, cause I mean, I don't really mind like you guys sending more than six messages in a row or whatever. You know, I haven't been in a lot of streams, so I'm here now. Yo, Angel, welcome, 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 welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. How you doing? How you doing? Steven Universe song? Yeah, there's a lot of Steven Universe on here. Um, BGR makes a lot of Steven Universe stuff. I've never actually seen Steven Universe, but uh, I actually, I met Steven. I met the voice actor of Steven at, uh, at a Nate Wants to Battle concert. And uh, he was super chilly. His, his name is Zach something something. And, um, yeah, he was really cool. He was really cool. But, like, I didn't actually know he was the Steven Universe guy. Like, I just, I had known of Steven Universe and like I knew him just from like the tour with Nate. Uh, I didn't realize that he actually voiced Steven though. It's kind of nuts. It's kind of nuts. Um, have you seen the show Big Mouth? It's so fucking hilarious. I have not. Um, it sounds cool though. Have you ever listened to Yuki music? Probably. Probably unintentionally or I probably like I probably heard it, but I haven't like deliberately deliberately went out of my way to hear it. Oh, it's YouTube channel that does EDM. Oh, okay. Shoot, I'll check it out. I'll check it out. Yeah, I've probably heard like it sounds familiar. Like just the, just the name sounds familiar. Uh, but yo, foul place. Thank you for stopping by, man. I appreciate it. How you doing? How you doing? Did you realize that I'm um, John Jen Kenhell from Twitch? Uh, I did not, to be totally honest. But welcome, my boy. Thank you for stopping by. All right, we're going for Poplio. We tried Litten. We're going for Poplio. This is gonna be shiny. And if it is shiny, I'll be extremely upset because I wanted the Rowlet shiny, not this man. But uh, you know what? It's all right. It's all right. You know what? We'll 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 roll with it. We'll do what we gotta do. Great, my dude. Just got off work. That's awesome, man. I've been watching too much American St Horror Story. Uh, this is a nice change. Yo, I've been watching too much of The Office. I've literally gotten addicted. I started watching it for the first time midway through season three. I'm now addicted. It's a little bit ridiculous. Um, yeah, if you said shiny in my chat and I had a heart attack. Yeah, don't be doing that. Don't be doing that. It's not shiny. It's not shiny. Unfortunately, it's not shiny. But yo, he said it in the chat and I, I knew I knew he couldn't have like predicted it. But, like, part of me was like, dude, if this is actually shiny, I'm going to flip. Uh, I literally, you know, the thing about this, right, is, yeah, you know, it sucks. We, we've been hunting Rollet for, like, almost a year now. But when we finally get it, that payoff, that excitement is about to be freaking nuts. Like, I'm going to see that Rollet and I'm going to die. I think I'm actually going to die. It's going to be insane. So, yeah. Um, what's your favorite anime? Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I actually have a poster up there. But you can't really see it. You know what? I'm going to point my camera at it because I have a camera now that I can move around and do with what I please. Oh, but the light's in the way. Hang on. I'm going to show you guys the poster because I want to. Hold up. Hold up. Ugh. Look at it. Look at it. It's so cool. It's so cool. Look at, look at him. It's Edward Elric. Freaking love it, man. Freaking, freaking love it. I have an Avatar 1 right next to it. Too. Yo, what if I just stood? What if I, I could... I could become a standing YouTuber. Why not? Why not? Um, ugh, camera points. Cause I, I have one of those now. <laughs> Every time I say something with the camera, I'm just gonna be like, yes, I have a camera now. Oh, nuts. So many cheeses. Yeah, no, dude, it goes, it goes up. It stacks. I wish I could fit like the whole background, um, in the in the frame, but I I can't. I have to get like a really wide lens for it. Uh, my Brio had like a much wider field of view like you could tell this this camera is much more zoomed in than my brio was like with the brio you could see my desk a little bit you could see the window you could see like over to the door um so it's a little bit cropped in but i kind of like it it's more intimate i don't know i mean both were good anyways do it bet you won't stand up play with your feet all right come on come on <laughs> i'm not crazy <laughs> But <laughs> if I were crazy, yo, Dill Pickles, how you doing, man? How you doing, man? Ryan's doing his rap now for his sleep lock now? What? 
why why is why is Nep ooh what is with that hair god why is that sort of battle revolution playing right now all over the place i usually jeez my hair was way too long ah uh, where's ryan's live stream hang on hang on if he's actually doing his rap right now i gotta see this 100 percent uh the brio's decent definitely gonna be saving up for a camera yeah i mean the brio's 100 percent solid and it, it it served me well uh but i'm so glad to have an upgrade just because like where's no i need king corpfish King Corpfish, show me his live stream. If he's rapping right now, we need to see this. All you need, so kick back, relax, and enjoy the show. Type one if you're hyped, you already know. I'm laying down the bars without the even trying. Getting PG Dylan to say, fuck you, Ryan. <laughs> Wait, Vinny's in the stream. What the fuck? <laughs> Bro. Bro, I, I only heard the end part of that, but the beat's fire. That I mean, sure happened. Scott Scott killed it with that the beat. I, I, <laughs> he just went back to playing. Yeah, I can't I can't wait to see like the finished version tomorrow. Yo, Dylan, Vinny just said hashtag Astrid raid. No, I'm not ready to raid yet. I'm not ready to raid yet. We're gonna do one more encounter, then we'll raid. I'm not ready yet. Um, that's nuts. That's nuts. Wait, you, why, people are putting asteroid raid. We're not raiding yet. No. <laughs> Yo, Ivan just donated another two dollars. Even is he gonna notice the pseudo raid? He goes. Hold. He's gonna notice the he pseudo goes, raid. Type King Slugma, if Bro. you're real, my pants. Are we also getting raided by Frank? As I was doing my. Not. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are jumping the gun. Uh Anyways, anyways, yeah, no, we just got we gotta get this encounter. The best timing of any raid I think I've ever. I'm had not raiding you, ever. Ryan. Hang on, I'm, I'm gonna tell him I'm not raiding yet. Lol. I think that's literally the. <laughs> <laughs> the I'm gonna say the gun was jumped. The gun was jumped. God. All right, yeah, let's get this last encounter, then we'll wrap it up. Then we'll wrap it up. My live stream. I'm not raiding yet. Oh, Frank, you missed the <laughs> opportunity. Uh, that would have been perfect, oh but I gotta get this God. last encounter man. I literally I have to get this last encounter I have to all right. I have to just see just we're halfway through the encounter We might as well just finish it Anyways, hey Astro, can you remember to check out my brother uh, Nico boom games, please? It would mean so much to him I think I might have subbed to him actually. I think I might have don't quote me on that But I think I might have um, but yeah, I'll, I'll check it out again and see if see if I did sub to him, but Anyways, here we go. Get ready for that asteroid raid though. Of course. We're gonna be raiding my boy Ryan you already know what's up. You already know what's up. Um, I just think three verses I want to see you in video selling versus with Vinny, with Dylan and Ryan. 100%. 100%. I would absolutely love to. Um, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, it, it's one of those projects, though, that's kind of difficult just because of scheduling. Like, getting the four of us together and being able to do it is really tough. Is it shiny? It's not shiny. It's not. It's not shiny. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching as always. You guys are freaking beautiful. We're gonna go ahead and raid my boy Ryan. You already know what's up. So go ahead and give him a hashtag asteroid raid up in his chat. Uh, wish him happy birthday. It's his birthday. He's just get something over the chat for my boy. You guys are awesome. Thank you for coming out. We're gonna get this shiny eventually. I mean, December 8th is our cutoff, right? December 8th is the year anniversary. If we don't get it by then, then I'm gonna cry physical tears on camera. But I'll see you guys later. You guys are beautiful. Thank you for coming out and peeping the new camera quality. I'm really excited about it. And I will see you dudes in uh, in Ryan's stream. So yeah, <sighs> peace. Oh wait, I was gonna I was gonna like spam the link. Okay, hang on, hang on. <laughs> peace. Bye.